Now, a few things that like we need to uh, go through. Um, uh, everybody should have got a PDF um, uh, of a few PDFs actually. And uh, if you signed up and you went onto the website, you signed up. Uh, all that was, lads, was that I could literally keep all your emails and make sure that everybody uh, gets everything sent out without me losing um, well more hair than I owe. I owe very little as it is. Um, uh, so you should have got a few emails, uh, a few, well, my apologies if you got a few emails, um, I'm still learning the software. Um, but what I want to go through first is, uh, this will be a slow steady start to the day, and the main one that you should have is this one, uh, the, uh, the Skull Reference. So you, ideally, uh, what I would suggest uh, is that you uh, print this out. Uh, I'm going to use it uh, as well. I'm going to um, uh, cut it up and do some things. I'm going to do that right now. I've already done it, and all. I've already uh, worked on a, um, a, a what do you call it? A, a little bit of a skull uh, already. It's not finished. I'm going to do another one today, and I'm going to do it with you. So I'm going to start from uh, the bog standard uh, from from scratch. Now th this method that I do, I do it with. Um, no matter if it's a s small uh, little object, which we're making, um, or if it's something like the Mockness heads that I make, which could be, what, four foot tall, five foot tall. Um, it's the same method. Uh, but uh, now, I might do a, a slightly different things. Uh, like I'm going to create a template. But uh, what I, uh, I don't necessarily have to do that anymore in that I'm used to the process. But what I'm going to start with is literally creating a template. So what I suggest is now, now lads, we're going to this we're going to be a slow start uh, to uh, to to the uh, to in the morning uh, for about an hour because I think everybody needs time to either uh, oh crap I forgot that um, or uh, uh, can I print that off uh, can I find something so I we we'll, we'll have a little bit of time to do that and uh, and then we'll get into, in, into actually into the sculpting but uh, I am going to do everything um, myself I'm going to try and slow down. So if if I'm going too fast for you, you need to tell me. Uh, now there are people who are going, who are on here who are absolutely epic sculptors, and I'm a little bit humbled that they've actually turned up. Um, but uh, hey, sculpting is sculpting. So um, uh, and every uh, it doesn't matter what level you're at. Really, this is from a uh, basic standard. So again, what I'd like to say is not 93 people lads um uh, signed up that to me is mad cuz i thought about 10 uh, would sign up and uh it's it's ridiculous um that uh, brilliant brilliant absolutely brilliant but ridiculous so what i would ask you to do is at the bottom of the screen but like see if i get this about there there's a share button share it out and um we're going to be here all day share it out and we'll see if we can get more people on um, the only problem is uh, they probably won't have all the reference. You will get the bog standard um, PDF when uh, when they sign up. Um, but uh, it would be uh, what'd be fabulous is they hit over a hundred. I I thought I'd get ten, but a hundred would be just like m mad stuff. So if you haven't done already, now don't freak out if you ha um, if you haven't got a printer. I know that uh, in the present circumstances you might have stuff, you might not have stuff. I'm going to assume or show you. The way I would do it, as if I had everything. Then I'm going to talk about the way I would do it if I didn't have uh, stuff as well. But I am going to show you the way I would do it uh, as if I, I I was in a workshop or something like that. And this method, the method that I use, I it, it, I find it foolproof. And no matter what you're going to do, no matter what size it's going, uh, it is, um, make sure, lads, that you uh, uh, say hello when you come in, so I, I know who's here. Now my uh, my glasses. Uh, see, for you to see me at this distance, I have to reach in a little bit to see you. So you might see a little bit of my bald head moving in. Um, I apologise for that. Now the first email that you got was a. I don't know if I have it. Um, yeah. First email you got was this one. Um, that's if you signed up. Um, at the very beginning. Uh, that there was just like throwing it out to everybody and I to be honest I hadn't refined it at that stage uh, to be honest I didn't even think people were torn up and um, so I didn't put that much effort into it and then people started saying no I want to do it so um, this here is uh, a little bit better um, so what I suggest is that you uh, print 
do that. Let's just read it. Um, print this off. Uh, has is there anybody in the in the house uh, not able to print this off? Just let me know. Is is there anybody that hasn't actually been able to print this off? Just let me know. No. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Tom Eskill, how's it going? Daniel, see, so the two of you are doing it. Fantastic. So, uh, uh, lads, uh, there, uh, it's like, what, we're not even 10 minutes in it yet. The next hour, and I'm going to take it a little bit slow because, uh, like, I've been talking to people all week on this, and uh, uh, I get up very early in the morning, but most people don't. You can't, who's that? Ellie, you can't print. That's cool. Um, so, uh, I'm going to. Do this as if you can print, um, but I am going to talk about uh, it and uh, do, uh, as if you cannot print as well. But I, I thought I'd show you the method uh, uh, that, uh, that you can print, um, so that when we all get back to our normal lives, whatever normal that is, um, uh, we'll be able to use this. Sorry, you haven't printed. That's fine. You don't have to print it. Um, as long as you have to be able to see this on screen. You have to be able to see this on screen. Um, now I'm just going to show you what, um, there's, I think there's people signing up right now and uh, now you can go onto the website if this falls apart or you, there's something wrong you can go onto my website and see it there as well I think. Um, lads with this uh, technology, there's a big learning curve. So what I'm going to do is just uh, change this screen for a minute. Now this is, um, just let me That's what, uh, uh, if you signed up now, you're not going to get this package, um, unfortunately. Um, what, uh, what you're going to uh, get is the, the one I've just shown previously. But uh, as I said, I didn't think anybody was going to turn up, so I didn't put much effort into it, and then I did. Um, so this is the one that we're going to work off. And then what uh, I thought would be useful uh, is to have an understanding of the, uh, this is a skull, and this is a sculpt and the relation between the skull and the actual um, uh, anatomy of the face. Uh, like there, there are two different things here and we have to be clear about that. We are making a skull and the skull has, uh, to be able to do it, has proportions. And I've, 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 uh, as you see, if you actually look at it, it's in either halves or thirds. Um, uh, so, uh, th if you look, if you actually look at that grid one, uh, it 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 does it it does sort of make sense. Do not get confused with the proportions of a face; it's slightly different. Um, this one here, I'm going to be calling upon that every now and again. Um, but uh, basically, what it is is a, a an anatomy of the skull. I think it's useful to have that. Uh, uh, if you look at the bottom right hand corner, anatomy for sculptors. Uh, I've talked about that a lot on um, the lives. Uh, if you are into sculpting at all, uh, go and get the books. Uh, they're, all, they're, they're all done on Kickstarter and uh, I think uh, the last one that I'm getting, I haven't got it yet, it'll be coming in December, but the, uh, it was, they were looking for 25000 to actually print the book and ended up at 80000 So there's a lot of people at work uh, want to use it, so I get it. Anatomy for Sculptors. This one here is uh, one that's actually done in CG and I just put it in because it's actually the same method that I use. And um, the, you will see that um, uh, it's in a half, and then it's in the thirds. And um, so it's ve very useful to have that one. Uh, there's not a lot of detail in it, but that's cool. If we, what, what, what we're trying to do is to get uh, air skulls roughly, at, uh, and as I'd say in about two hours, we will have that shape there. And uh, now I just want you to look at the bottom section um, like the jaw up to the nose. If you look at that, it, it is a circle, so it's like it's like it's like a little ball. Then, if you look at the uh, the actual cranium, uh, the top section, uh, the forehead, and going backwards, it is like I don't know. Uh, 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 it's like well, it's an ellipse, but it's a, in three dimensions, it's a geoid. Um, so th that there, it's just keep that in your head. And uh, I've actually transferred that up into um, that one. And uh, you can see it in green. You can see it in green, and then you can see it in green here. So that's the ball, and that's the uh, uh, the geoid. So keep that keep that in your head. But I'm going to go over this uh, uh, again and again. 
that there is just uh, an, another one uh, but it's actually overlaid with uh, lips and uh, with eyes and eyelids uh, do not use this one for this because it might confuse you I just wanted to put this in so that you later on if you when uh, you want to actually put a face on this uh, you can uh, this one here is uh, going very uh, classical but uh, and what I wanted to do was uh, because I've talked about that in the lives is now we're going to get on to it lads look but like uh, uh, it is going to take us a while so uh, I want to introduce this uh, properly uh, we talked about how well, and where to place an ear and what I was talking about if you look at that line at the front that, that goes from the forehead through the nose down to the lips it's parallel to the line of that uh, of the ear going straight down through the ear um, that's uh, where the position of the ear goes and that is the angle of the ear and you'll notice people getting that wrong already that's himself uh, Leonardo da Vinci and it's it's uh, it's nearly exactly the same method uh, this one here I just put this in at the end and uh, these are the proportions of the face um, this one here is useful because if you're going to start with the skull, which we are, we're going. Then what you might want to do is uh, do an ecuche and um, do fl a flayed skin, and um, that's the muscle structure. Again, if you go to anatomy for sculptors, they have beautiful renditions of this. And I thought at the end, this guy uh, Scott Eaton uh, dot com, a fabulous sculptor. But I thought that was a fantastic way to sh to, to show uh, a skull in relation to a, a face. So now I'm flipping and flopping between um, programs here. So um, sometimes I can see what you're saying, sometimes I can't. Um, lads, don't worry about pr printing it off. As long as you can see it on the screen, um, and uh, like if you want, put on screen, put a full size, um, and have YouTube on the background so you can hear me, or do it half screen, whatever. But what you will have to do is uh, we will have to be um, um, measuring. The, uh, the the skull all the time to keep the proportions right. Now I have gridded it, so you could decide that, um, and I can give you a measurement for what this grid is. So you could actually say, well, uh, the width of this is blah. Uh, let me see, what is it? I think it's seventy. It should be yeah, that's Jesus on the top. So seventy mil is the width. So just just keep that in your head. Now it might be a little bit harder um, to because you have to keep that in your head. Um, uh, what I prefer is actually keep it on um, reference uh, and like uh, uh, back there all the wall is covered in reference and the reference is full size so I've talked about that a lot as well um, I can't print it off I have it on. yeah if you have it on screen you can see it cool but uh, as I said I'm going to uh, go uh, going to show you what I would do from start to finish as if you could actually do this with everything and um, uh, available to you because most people can actually print something at, uh, at some stage so what on the list that I gave you I give you a few things that um, you would need if you haven't got them do not worry um, like at the end of the day if you got clay and you have it on your computer screen we can still work um, but I'm going to show you uh, um, uh, uh, it the way I would do it, I, literally, if I was in the workshop. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, let me see if, uh, I have a list of stuff here, I don't want to miss out anything. Yeah, we have a good few people in there. Just again, I want to thank you all for turning up. Um, it's cool, Like, I, it's fantastic for me to actually do something like this and um, keep my hand in with sculpting, but um, it's sort of weird to be doing it um, over the internet, but uh, but at the same time it, you feel connected to people, so it's fantastic. So thank you all for turning up. Now, and either su subscribe lads or share it, let's try and get some more people on. Um, now, the th what you can see is um, a nice back and a nice uh, blood throat, but this table is it's covered in stuff, Just where and it's laid out so I know where stuff is. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, now I've been yapping so people could actually print this if they didn't print it. Um, I'm going to uh, put this onto card. Now, uh, the reason why I'm going to do that, I, um, I, I've made one of these earlier. I'm not going to actually make one of, the, one of these, but I made this earlier. Some people might want to do this. So. Um, that there is a very no, uh, what you could, what I haven't done. I'm not using this, so I haven't uh, done it. What I could do is put 
uh, the skull face uh, on here if you wanted or if we had the back of the skull which I don't have on this reference um, but you can see that there and it's a very handy way uh, uh, because uh, it, and it, all of this as much as possible lads you can see on the sculpt on the, um, the reference that I'm, I have in front of you that um, good morning Momo um, people, people are still coming in lads so um, I, I, I talk for the next wee while I'm just going to talk about the process and um, and then we'll get into it. Um, but uh, we're going to be here all day. And like, uh, um, so. Uh, but what I, what I was going to suggest, if everybody's cool, because I forgot something. Um, um, I forgot that I, ha uh, I had stuff at half five. So if everybody's cool with taking a half an hour for lunch, I would appreciate that. Um, so I can actually get away at, uh, at half five. Um, but I have to do life stuff. Now. So I'm not going to do this, but I, I, it's not the method that I actually do. But I, I was looking at it and it says, because I've done it in halves, and you can see it's half, half. And um, uh, that is uh, the center line. And then I marked it here. The half is uh, the green line. And I only noticed when I was actually putting everything together, the green line tra didn't transfer over here. But essentially, it's the center line here. So that, that allowed me to make that, and it's very useful. Even, uh, actually, what I was uh, found yet, um, when I was sculpting yesterday and the day before, I just did a, a, a quick sculpt, it's not finished by any means. Um, I had it on my desk, just over here, and I could uh, just see it and turn it around and turn it around. Um, it was, it was fa fantastic for that. So I'm gonna put that aside, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the reference and I'm going to create templates uh, from the reference. Now, what uh, the, what you could do, if you don't want to do this method, um, you could literally just use the sheet. Now, a lot of people are going to be using the screens. Um, unfortunately, you actually are probably going to have to put the sculpt up to the screen. Um, but um, So don't blame me if you have paw marks all over your screen by the end of this. Will the half hour be at, uh, lunch be at one? Yeah, it, yeah. Is that okay with everybody that um, um, that it's at one o'clock? So if it is, if it is, uh, give me a thumbs up. I, I apologize for that. I did say six, but uh, I forgot that I have a few life. Uh, there's a there's a forty at the party, so I ha um, it's important. So I have to go away. Uh, so I'm going to finish at half five, um, and we're, but we're going to take half an hour for lunch. So it's the same amount of time um, uh, together. So uh, I'm going to get on and do this. What I have here is uh, to make the template. Now, uh, again, as I said, um, I do this for this size as well as something that would be five foot tall. Um, so I need a template. Um, and this here is just mounting board. Uh, you could use cereal box card um, or uh, any sort of uh, card. It, it doesn't really matter. It's just, it's just to create a, a, a template from this. So it needs to be a little bit stiff though. Um, but what I was thinking was, because I was using this a lot and I, I sort of mucked it up as well. Um, if you were going to work off this, what you could do is you could get a, um, a, a laminator uh, or get it laminated. So this is all in um, a, a nice sheet and you could literally put the sculpt on top and this doesn't get uh, dirty. You could literally uh, clean it off later. I haven't done that. Well, I have a laminator but I couldn't find the lamination stuff. So what I'm going to do first is literally cut this off. And I'm going to stick it onto the uh, mounting board. This is mounting board. Uh, what I'm going to use, what I could could use, is a uh, spray mount. I'm not going to use that because uh, I'm in a really small room and um, uh, it smells nice, lads, but it's not good for you. Um, that there mask, uh, well, not mask tape, was it? Um, double sided sticky tape. I'm going to use that. Don't like using that because it's um, uh, a little bit too thick. So I'm going to go old school and I'm going to use a uh, print stick. Um, so I'm going to use that. Um, now, no, doesn't smell, works perfectly. Um, so what I'm going to do is just cut this up and get it ready. Now I have a few rulers lads and I'll talk about the tools as I go. This one here is my favourite ruler. It is from uh, Soster and Green. And there's a place in, I don't know if we have one in Galway, but I think it's a, 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 a fancy tiger. Um, so uh, that's where I, I get these ones and they are absolutely fantastic and um, they're nice and bendy as well. I also have like the normal uh, big one, 600, uh, well I have a selection of them. And to do another one of these which I think it's 100 with a really short stubby one, brilliant, absolutely fantastic thing. 
Will this video be available after today? Yes, it will. Um, um, I, I'm recording it. Um, and if it needs be edited, or um, I could, uh, I'm on, if I'm saying too many M's or too many A's and I sound like a complete tool, I can re-edit it. I've noticed doing these things that I do that an awful lot. I say M's and A's and A's. So, I'm just cutting this up, um, uh, get it off the sheet. And there's a little thing I'm going to, I'll talk about that in a minute that I forgot to do, uh, which would have been handy. Um, you can do it uh, just with a pen, but um, now lads, you just send, uh, send me all the messages you want, but if you, uh, 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 what I'll be looking at mostly is uh, what's here, and don't forget to share it down at the bottom. Um, that's what I'll be looking mostly at, because I um, can't be too distracted, neither do I actually do so. So, so I'm just going to cut these up. Get off all the information that we don't need anymore. These are here. Actually, I don't know. Is it? On? Does has any, is anybody actually looking at this on the website? Um, is it working? Because I don't know. If it isn't, it's an awful shame. But we keep on trucking. So. What I'm going to do is stick uh, these onto this. What I'm also going to do is um, stick it in about 150 mil in and 150 mil down. So I've already uh, cut this to size. Um, I don't know about ye, but um, when I'm cutting things or when I'm um, doing things like this, I like things to be level, I like things to be straight, I like things to be um, in their proper place, and the only, no, this looks a bit dry, the only reason I like that, because then um, uh, I know that it's straight, I know that, um, uh, like if I want to measure something of that, um, it's going to remain symmetrical, whereas if it's all wing-wang and all over the place and manky like a dog's ear, um, it's going to look crap, and um, more than likely when you actually want, later on, if you want to actually use the bloody thing, you can't, you can't, uh, and you can't, you can't measure off because it's all over the place, so try and keep everything neat and tidy. I know in a wee while, um, this is probably going to get manky, um, but um, that's okay. Now, this is great for this size. If I was going to do this, uh, say for a, f a massive figure, like a five foot tall one or s whatever, something that's big, like really big, I wouldn't be using Pritt stick. And, and there's loads of people coming onto the website. Um, hopefully they're not signing off here, I'll just check. Um, the what do you call it? Yeah, I wouldn't be make. I used to make templates, but Jesus, uh, at like five foot tall, and that's bloody massive. Um, uh, yeah, there's loads of people joining, but unfortunately, you're gonna have to. If you're joining, I don't have time to send you the updated stuff, lads. But it will, it will work. Um, uh, so uh, just like, at going live, uh, I can't do multiple things at the same time. I'm not that good. So what I want to do, is, oh yeah, the big ones. Um, so the the big ones, what I uh, what I do with them to get an image, let's say, onto a block of poly, um, I would put this, print it out onto a acetate, and I would put it onto an overhead projector. And I don't know about you, but those things are becoming scarce, and they're bloody handy. Um, and I've uh, well, if you if there's any first years here from DSS or anybody from DSS, they know that I use them in first year a lot, and um, I've already burnt out three. Um, so I'm just measuring this 150 mil. I found uh, is good, and you'll understand in a wee while. There's no point in me explaining everything. Um, you'll see. Cool. And um, I project the image up onto 
a block of poly and then I draw the image onto the block of poly. I used to, um, I don't do it anymore um, because um, it, it actually it, it costs a lot of money. Um, I used to make templates um, like exactly what I'm doing now. I remember making a Formula One car um, out of poly and the template uh, was all made like what uh, the way I'm doing now but was huge uh, out of MDF. Now it it worked out perfectly. Uh, it, worked, it worked out fantastically, um, but uh, it did cost a bit of money. Um, so I went on from that to uh, now. Uh, actually, with doing something that's uh, like prototypey stuff, that something is hard edge like that, it actually is good to uh, do a template. Doing this stuff, what I found with the big stuff is that uh, I, I I've gotten used to it in my head, so uh, I can literally just draw. Uh, shine it, uh, project it up onto the uh, side of the poly, throw on the shape, and um, so that just literally starts sculpting. But we're going to do the template method today. So, if you want to get an overhead projector, what you need to do, if you want to get a cheap one, is put an alert up on adverts and I've got ones for um, 30 euro so excuse the buzzing in the background that's people um, that's people going on to do, uh, the website so I'm going to do 150 again Now, I don't know about ye, uh, but uh, I'm doing measurements here. I'm doing 150 from here to here. Um, just, a, uh, uh, just a question, lads, is, is that screen in focus? Um, because when I'm this distance with these glasses, they're not in, it's not in focus. The, se uh, uh, the skull, front, the width of the skull is uh, 70 mil, um, the width of the skull. Again, lads, I apologize if I don't answer your question straight away. Yeah, thank you. There's a, I, people actually answered that question. And if you look at the actual uh, reference, uh, it says sculpt the skull 70 mil by uh, 105 mil. Um, so that there's already the rock and roll. Um, what I am going to do, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this, um, and I actually have printed out another one because uh, I'll, I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to cut it in half. Right down the center line. Oh yeah, I was going to say, when I'm uh, marking out, I never mark out with a pencil. Ever. I never mark out with a pen. I mark out with the, uh, the blade. So uh, if I'm going to mark out, I mark out with the blade. And then I can see it. And what's useful is I can put the um, uh, blade back in. And uh, it's easy to put the ruler up against it. Put it in position. Then put it back into the the other mark. Move the ruler around. Make sure it's in position. Cut. I will do that every single time I'm going to do a cut, and I know it's right. The other reason is the uh, pencil marks don't go all over the place, and your piece remains nice and clean. So never use a pen. Never use a pencil. So that's cut in half. Now um, we could, if uh, uh, we wanted to. Um, um, actually, what you could do if you wanted is uh, I'm going, uh, we could put this uh, on the back of this. We could uh, peel it off nice and neatly. Or easily. No, I can't. So I'll, uh, what, I'll, what I'll do is uh, I'll, I have another one printed out there. But uh, you don't need to do that. I only was only thinking. So you can see that I've half skull, and then I uh, there's a uh, you can see it, uh, but there is a green line. And that there is a geoid line, and then you see there, uh, the, uh, this here is the ball line, uh, which is for the jaw. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to cut out the outline of the skull. So um, just bear with me while I do that. And try, uh, I have used, I'm using a scalpel and I put a brand new blade in. So, and bring it out and cut it out to the edge. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm making it uh, a template. 
Now, I have seen people do this, like, um, with horses, with full-size horses, um, and you don't necessarily have to do that, but if you don't do this, uh, a template, what you're relying on is measurements, and that's okay. That's absolutely okay, but you you would be constantly measuring, and I just find that a bit of a pain. I w actually will be measuring all the time, but I find it, um, that if I have a template and I... Um, use measurements, it's that little bit more accurate and a little bit easier on the head. Yeah, the front profile is 70mm and uh, the side profile is 105 And uh, the people are asking me um, about, oh I apologise, yes, uh, the clay that people won, I don't think it arrived um, and I'm, I apologise for that, I was told it would, but um, obviously um, nothing's normal at the minute. The weight of this uh, skull to do something like this is a, what did I think? It was, uh, I said 450, it actually works out a bit, 400, because uh, I, I measured the skull that I'm working on. Um, if you don't have 400, don't worry about it, because I'm going to show you how to um, cheat it as well. So I, I want to get that uh, the skull out of this. So do it neatly. If anybody knows me, I am. I'll, I'll come in, if I come in, if there's a workshop and it's manky, I'll come in and, and I'm usually not happy about that because my method, my um, not, uh, not method, but my uh, philosophy is if you uh, if you if you're working in a tip, you uh, um, uh, you're usually your, uh, your actual work is a t is a, is not good. And I would use different words to do that. So. Everybody get that? So that there is the reference. That there is the template. So I'm going to use that. The nice thing about uh, uh, the template, because uh, the, the reference is it is symmetrical, it is mirrored. Um, so what I can do is this is uh, I don't know if ye, but I assume I I'm assuming this is the right hand side for everybody. Am I right in saying that? Somebody tell me yes or no. This one here, my thumb. This is the right hand side, yeah. We all going to sleep, and then this here is the left hand side. So that there is the, um, uh, the right hand side, and that there is the left hand side. So I hope everybody gets that. I'm going to move on to this fella. So I'll stick him up there. Cool. I think I think lads, uh, uh, there is. I have to just be aware of that. Uh, when you ask a question of, uh, of me, or when I say something, there's a, a lag. There is a lag, I know there's a lag. I just wasn't expecting it to be. It's about, actually, I, I think it's about 10 seconds um, of a lag. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Um, uh, now you can see that fits, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. It fits perfectly in, inside that there. I'm gonna do exactly the same here. And, um, and I'm going to just mark it. Market. I just like doing that um, because when I put the ruler up against it, I can slide um, the, uh, the scalpel back into place, slide the cap scalpel back into place and draw the line down. Uh, I know there are people that um, cannot print, so this here, you're not going to be able to do that today. Um, but uh, you will be able to do it in the future when we're back to normal and I think it's a good thing to know. Um, if you don't have it printed, you're going to work off your screen and you'll be using measurements. Now, I'm going to uh, get this cut out. So has any got, anybody got any questions so far? Now, just be aware here, the base of uh, the skull, just where the spine goes in, right here. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to it, but we're not going to go in because that's a, that's creating an, uh, an, an undercut or an underlock. So uh, we're literally just going to go out at a little bit of an angle, a little bit of an angle. You'll understand that later. Uh, Now 
Now what I like to do is I like to do it's like it's called a kiss cut and um, you cut it I'm counting about 23 seconds of a lag, holy moly um, so I'd, I like to do a kiss cut and then after the kiss cut I do the cut the kiss cut uh, um, don't put pressure on it and what it does is create a little channel for your blade and your blade stays in uh, in that channel it's the next cut that you put a little bit of the actual not uh, the actual cutting uh, you put pressure on it and it'll cut through but it's the kiss cut that keeps it in place and I will be doing it again on the other side so there oh my god fiddly that fits together so we'll put that up there to do this one so again, kiss cut. Now the reason why I do a kiss cut because if I, and a lot of people like this is quite thick, and I could even do it on thicker stuff. Um, I would always, always do it. Uh, I, can, I even do it in paper. Um, the kiss cut, it's just easy to do, and it means that uh, uh, it would be accurate. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. And. I was half thinking of music, but I was afraid. Well, number one, that you wouldn't hear me. Number two, that when I put this out later, that YouTube would be telling me you've been bold and we're not putting your um, video up. So I'd love to. I, I love scoping to, mu uh, to music. Or uh, actually, uh, what I've started getting into is podcasts. And listen to a dude called Jay Shetty and um, Russell Brand as well. So not a lot of pressure, but it's a kiss cut, and I'm using the tip. I don't know, like the stuff that I'm probably going to be saying to people that are, um, they actually, you know, they're, you know, they're professionals. They know what they're doing. Um, but there might be people out who are, um, uh, who are learning. So th this here is a Swan and Morton blade. It's the only blade I ever use, um, and it's Swan and Morton. It's not the red plastic handle. It's the it's the metal one. It's also uh, number three. You can see that it's um, it says number three on it. Um, it's the School for Greatness is a great po po oh, a podcast. Okay, um, the blades I use are ten A. You can see that, I think. Think, 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 think. I don't know if you can. It says 10A there. So, 10A blade is the one I use. Um, lots of people use different blades, but it's the one I find is, is sort of a universal, sort of generic, all rounder. Um, I will not use any other blade. And I use craft knives. I do. I use Stanley knives I, uh, all, all the time, but I only use them for sort of specific things. Like a Stanley knife is a brute; it will just annihilate anything. Um, now this this little hair that's at the base of the spine. Um, that there, I am actually going to cut that off, and um, it's going. Um, I want the jawline. I can always put this back in if if I want. But later on, what I was actually thinking was um, that's the skull. I was going to sculpt a little base in here. So you're definitely not going to see that, and um, then I was going to make a silicone mold. Momo, she was, she's going to do the same. Um, Stuart, Stuart Bray, is that who you're talking about? And Todd's podcast is absolutely brilliant. Those two, and they're so nice people. I never met them, but uh, um, someday. Um, but they, uh, they seem like really, really nice people, and they know what they are talking about. Um, so. Again, um, I'm going to cut that uh, out. Yeah, I'm going to make a block mold um, and uh, make a little base on this so it'll actually be uh, molded. Uh, when it's molded, it'll be negative. Uh, actually, I'll cut it out and show you. That's exactly what I'll do. I'm going to make a mold uh, in silicone and I'm going to pop it out in clear resin. So that uh, the reason I'm going to do that because it's one of the hardest things to do 
and um, I think it would be a good thing to show people how to use a vacuum chamber properly um, and how to use a pressure chamber properly. One's positive pressure, one's negative pressure. Um, one explodes bubbles, um, I'll just take a little bit off there. One explodes bubbles and one implodes bubbles. So as you can see lads, you know, I am doing this in front of you, um, we're doing it together. So it is going to take the length of time that it takes. Now I, I am going a little bit slow uh, because I'm talking. Um, once once I get this on, because uh, to me to do this and actually not take uh, uh, take flesh, um, I can't look at the screen too much. But one, once I start scoping I'll be able to interact with you more and answer your questions. And I do apologise for the people at the end of the day, their keyboard is going to be covered in clay. Now, I am actually going to do this now because I keep forgetting. So that's the centre of the screen. I usually wander around the table. Trying to, oh good, trying to trace the screen, excellent, excellent, that's a very good idea, I never thought about that, and uh, that's a brilliant idea, um, so people, if you haven't uh, got, uh, should, I should have thought about that, if you haven't got a printer, or the printer's not working or whatever, um, you really, uh, ideally, so you don't wreck your computer, and it's a lot easier, um, print it out, if you can't print it out, uh, go onto the screen, and trace it, you could use tracing paper, you could use layout paper, you could use grease paper. Just trying to get this separated, there's a few pieces that's keeping it together. So essentially what I'm making is a, a glorified jigsaw puzzle. And I would do this for a lot of the scopes. Um, I didn't necessarily do it for, um, I didn't do it for Beckett, but what I did do was um, the actual armature that's on the inside of him. Ah, there you go. The armature that's the, on the inside of Beckett is the profile. So if you look at this, I know it's, it, it's probably, probably a little bit confusing, but I'll explain what I'm, I'm talking about. The reason why I, I, I'm not bothered about this little piece, and I'll explain why it's upside down in a minute. Um, the reason I'm not bothered about this little piece and uh, is that I'm going to create a base on this for this skull uh, to sit on. Then I'm going to mold it. Then I'm going to pop it out in a, a clear resin. So if you think about it, uh, it's going to be a block mold, and uh, it will be. A, I'm going to make a circular mold. Uh, but roughly, it would be maybe, maybe this is a bit bit wide, but roughly that will be uh, the diameter of the mold. It will be open at the very top up here. So all of this, I will pour resin into and fill this uh, fill this up. So that there, I don't need it because you're never going to see it. It's going to be on, uh, on um, the actual base. Now that there goes in there. Um, that there goes in there. And what I'm going to do now is, I'm, what I found this useful was I'm going to cut the I'm going to cut it in half. Now you could measure it, um, but this is half. So I'm going to cut this in half, and I'm going to stick this on the opposite side. difficult to keep things nice and neat but sometimes when you're doing this stuff and I see it all the time the table goes wing wang and um, you know you get into it and it gets a little bit messy 
So uh, you'll understand what I'm doing in a little minute. This is the opposite side. And literally just cutting the paper. And there's a little bit that I'm going to add that I should have added on to the reference, but I didn't. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do the reference again. So when you do these things, you learn. I apologize, I am looking down an awful lot. Um, yeah, trace lightly, absolutely. Uh, I am. Uh, I will be looking at, uh, at your messages more uh, in a wee while when I get this actually done. So, I'm spending an awful lot of time on this, and I should be, because, like, it's an, it. This is actually very important. Now, am I going too fast for people? Or is this an okay pace? Or am I actually going too slow? Because um, I know there are people there are people on here who are epic sculptors and they, but they could teach me. Um, uh, but there are people on here who are, who are um, beginning. So I thought that we'd go at that pace. It's like when you're hill walking. Oh, that's not actually right there. It's like, it's like when you're hill walking, um, you go to the speed of the slowest person. Now, what I'm going to do is now stick that on the opposite side. Yeah, trace lightly. Don't I don't want anybody wrecking the computers uh, and blaming me, my workshop for wrecking your computer. Lightly, it is stuck, and then I can move it around. Make sure that it's aligned. That's what the blue lines are for alignment. But for the blue lines are there for two reasons: alignment and um, symmetry. And we're, we're going to use them a lot. Um, so that's that side. That's that side. I'm going to do the same with this one. Um, I just um, I should have cut it in half at the beginning, and I apologise to people if I've just wrecked part of their um, template. I should have did that. As I make mistakes too, but that's not a biggie. Whenever I do stuff like this, I will always um, uh, I never get print out one thing, and uh, like this morning I printed three. Um, uh, I would always print more than I need because you are going to feck it up at some stage. And is that aligned? Yes, it is. So that's the right hand side, and that's the left hand side. Now I just need to finish uh, the front of the skull. And I, well, I'm being pedantic, I don't need to do that. Just going to cut out the opposite side. I should have done that at the beginning. I apologize for that. I only need this side. Be careful when you're cutting it because you go along and you're going along the um, green line and you might take off the skull, uh, a bit of the skull. The green line there is a guide. 
for this, we're actually using the skull. Green line, we'll understand that more when we actually start sculpting. Yeah, I thought it would be good to see the entire process. I know, I know, like, we're, like you and Paul, we come on to sculpt, like, Jesus. Um, but I do think uh, uh, people should be aware that doing a sculpt, especially doing, like, any sculpt, actually, but doing a likeness, like, like your man, um, there's a huge amount of prep beforehand. Huge. And uh, if you, it's, it's at that stage that if you don't do that prep properly, um, no, it goes wrong, and then you uh, you have to revert then back to the classical way of doing it, which would be through measurements. So I would do both, um, but I always do this as well to just help my brain. Now, what's nice about this is that I can flip and flop between um, left and right. What's nice about this is that um, uh, the templates will uh, serve us uh, he'll, when you see it and you're, uh, when you're going, um, how do we get the profile? How do you get, how do you get that, that line, that shape of the profile um, right? How do you get the outside of the, uh, uh, the skull right? Um, well, this is how you do it. Use the templates and we'll do that in a minute. So stick it on, lift it. My screen is really small and your comments on my screen are really small and I can't really make them bigger. Well I could but then oh it actually might be would it be a little let me see. Let me see if I can make this bigger. No, I'm a little bit bigger than that much. Now that's a little bit off on the cheekbones but it will be fine. Now Actually, I'm just going to trim that off so that it is the same on both sides. So, lads, when I'm working, the this is uh, well, for, uh, lads. If you know this stuff, I'm not. I'm not trying to treat you like you don't know anything. Um, but pe people out there might not know uh, the stuff I'm actually using. This is a cutting mat that I'm using. And um, it's made out of silicone and self-sealing. So when I cut it, it seals over. Um, whereas if you use a board, and um, when you cut into it, it creates a line. And then when you're cutting something else, your scalpel goes into that line and then it will shift off on a different direction. So if you're going to be cutting, uh, um, always use this. I do not, and I repeat, I do not use this for painting on. I do not use this for sculpting on. I do not use it for anything other than um, uh, doing what I've just done um, because I want to keep it clean. Um, and I go into workshops all the time going, oh Jesus Christ, in IADT, you will see them um, ruined, absolutely ruined. So um, I am going to just show you something that should be done in every college, every workshop, no matter if it's um, industrial or home, do it. It'll, it'll um, save your life. Well, might not save your life, but it'll make things nice and neat and clean. Um, so, there, that's your uh, right hand side. No, sorry, that's your right hand side. That's your left hand side. Take that out. That's your reference for the left hand side. That's the reference for the right hand side. Template for um, uh, the right hand side and template. So, oh, geez, that's hard. Template for the right hand side and template for the left. You'll understand when we actually get in working on it. And the same with this fella here. So that. Is everybody sort of happy with that so far? So, is ev if everybody's with me, give me a thumbs up. 
Oh yeah. Right, you want? It, it's juice, lads. Um, it's it's not a um, weird con cocktail. So what I have around me as well is I have loads of different types of reference. Um, um, when you're doing stuff like this, and I find it all the time, I will walk into a room, and I do it all the time, walking into rooms um, and there are people sculpting. Uh, or or, or I, I will ask a, they'll ask me a question and I can't answer that question without seeing reference. Um, so uh, you, if you're ever, with you know, if I'm ever teaching you, um, or um, actually not even teaching, if you ask me for advice, um, uh, or we're just talking about stuff, or or I turn up and I'm walking into your, uh, into your workshop and I'm looking at stuff and um, I'm going, well that's a little bit off and I, I know why. There's no reference on the wall. Uh, you cannot. Um, that's okay. That's fine. That's why I'm talking. If you're still cutting out, that's fine. Um, um, uh, like we have time, lads. Uh, that's why I said we'll we'll spend the day doing this rather than uh, like at this stage. I'm pretty quick at what I do because I've done it for what over 25 years. Um, uh, well, these things are getting a little bit slower, and it was a, this these shoulders are getting a little bit slower as well. But the um, um, well, I don't know, Paddy, um, those big sculpts were pretty, uh, we pretty uh, myself and Paddy Hoyne, we sculpted uh, the last um, Mockness big uh, character together, her, her name was Maria Sandoz, and it was for Day of the Dead, Dia de Muertes, and um, it was last year, um, which is bizarre that, you know, I can't, we can't be doing, well, I was doing this, and then now we can't do it, and it's not going to happen, uh, whereas last year um, we were doing Maria Santos, and uh, I think I think, I could be wrong, Paddy, you tell me, uh, we had uh, her sculpted in three days um, and she was four and a half foot tall by four foot wide by f about four to five foot deep. Um, so uh, I can pretty be pretty quick when I want to. Now, I have done that one as well and I find that useful, uh, that one there. Um, you could do that too. Um, but that this here is the act, that's more reference. Whereas I'm actually going to use these um, uh, when I'm sculpting. I'm, uh, I'm literally going to use them. And they're going to get a little bit manky. I've all, and uh, I already, like I have a set over here that, I'm, that I've used uh, that I, uh, to make the little bit, little thing that I was uh, working on. And they're, they will get a little bit grubby. And this one, I thought that instead, of, well, I actually thought it'd be better, to, uh, best that we all see how it's done from the very, very beginning. Now, it does. Excuse me. It does not matter uh, what size the sculpt is, and it doesn't matter if it's a likeness or a skull or whatever, or it's a creature. It doesn't matter, blah, whatever. Um, uh, if we have designs, this is the way I find it very easy to do. Um, uh, it's actually it's actually quite a classical way of doing it. Um, now, I, I obviously have a, a lot of reference, and um, that there, uh, if anybody's into doing this type of stuff, you need to get a skull. You have to get a skull. Um, uh, and like, I, I was talking to uh, people yesterday about the anatomy uh, of a back and uh, of ribs, and uh, the, 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 you literally cannot do this stuff without proper reference. So um, you need proper reference. Um, and what's nice about this is that I, if I have it and I'm doing a full size skull, this is full size. It's a male skull, and. Uh, female skull is slightly smaller, um, and and uh, the shape is slightly different. Um, but but uh, you you have to get one of these. Now that there uh, is actually that there is what I think it was about fifty euro. Um, so it's well worth it. It comes in a stand. Um, so I'm going to have that in front of me um, when I'm sculpting. So I'll be using it as well. So is everybody with me so far? So. Now, I'm just going to clean up a bit. Now, lads, if you need to go to Lou, you go to Lou. Don't be asking me. It always happens to be when I'm uh, teaching in first year at the beginning, somebody asks me, can they go to Lou? I'm not your ma, and I'm not your primary school or secondary school as teacher either. Um, so, um, uh, what I would be doing, lads, uh, is familiar. I, I'm just going to talk a wee while, so everybody, I make sure everybody should have this done and get up to the next level. Um, 
don't freak out if you don't have that done we'll be doing it uh, we can talk about it a different way as well but you'll be doing the same thing, sort of thing I printed out this as well I printed them all out um, but what you could do is scroll through them on um, uh, on the ones that I've sent you and uh, they're just a few things that like there's loads of th this is really useful to be able to pinpoint things and uh, be able to say well well that's what that is when you're having a conversation so me talking to you instead of uh, pointing this out I'll be saying uh, like no, T is the temporal line um, so that temporal line um, when I'm talking about that that's what I'm talking about um, um, and like uh, and like it's 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 I think this is very useful especially uh, never mind people are learning me as well. And um, you've got the number two parental, uh, um, uh, the frontal bone, uh, being number one. Um, so I'm going to use this uh, a lot. Um, uh, oh, that's uh, the, that little bit I cut out is. Uh, oh no, there it is. There. No, that that that. Uh, no, 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 that that that's wrong. Yeah, that's the mastoid there. That's the. It's just behind. It's the. Uh, it's a lovely. It's a lovely thing to get sculpted in. It's because behind. It's actually behind. Uh, the, the, well, you can see. It's just. It's if you feel it, you can actually feel it. It's right. It's. Uh, it, if you think about it, this thing here, the um, the a M. This one here, mastoid process. Uh, you feel your jaw. You feel a bump, and can you see? That's where the ear is. Um, so these things you might think, oh, why is he showing us that? Uh, what's that? What, 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 you know, that's, it's not necessary to go into that detail. But if you know where this stuff is, and then you know where it is in relation, that's why I've shown you it in relation to a, a human face. Um, you could literally go, yeah, no, that's that bit there, and that's not my sculpt, or that's that. Uh, where the hell does the ear go? Oh, well, it's actually on top of this, uh, this bit here, that bit there. Um, so that's why that is useful. Now. Are we ready to actually get some clay on? Look at my list. Templates. Oh yeah. So, um, some people might not have a lot of clay. Some people might have bucket loads of clay. Um, I'm just going to talk about the clay uh, uh, for a minute. And I will be... My oven is over there, so I'll be going back and forth um, for a wee while to get stuff. And uh, for this, I'm going to use espresso cups um, for my clay. It's just the other ones, um, I don't need, they're, they're massive, I don't need it that size. So I'm just going to get some clay. What I suggest, I'm going to take some clay here, I'm going to use a bit uh, as well, but I'm going to take one cup out, and I'm going to keep some clay in the oven, um, so that uh, it's still warm all the time. Um, I would advise you do that because we're going to get to a stage, lads, that we're going, oh, this is deadly, we're into this now. And even the people who have probably never sculpted before, you are going to get to that stage. Um, and we'll get there fairly quickly. And that's what's great about the templates because it doesn't really matter if you've sculpted or not sculpted before. The templates actually just do what they do their job. They do a lot for you um, that you don't even have to think about. Um, so I'm going to put that clean now. I want to just move these things out the way. I need some tissue. Um, another thing I have always, always, always on my desk, and uh, like if anybody's on courses with me, oh, sorry, if anybody's on courses with me, um, just things that will be always on your desk. Um, uh, one, uh, road um, for keeping clean, keeping your tools clean, mopping up, mopping up messes. So I like to, uh, it's not that I'm a freak, I mean, some, maybe some people think I am, uh, but I'm not a clean freak. Uh, like, I do create a mess, but I do think that um, if we can contain the mess, I keep the mess to a, a minimum. I'm getting rid of my glue, don't need it anymore. Um, and I am, as I said, I do not sculpt on my cotton mat, but my cotton mat, everything is on top of it at the minute. Um, so what I do, because uh, uh, what I have is, well, I don't know what it is, I think it's A0, is it A0? I think it's A0, it's an A0 cut man, it's the biggest you can get, and um, I think it's the biggest. Um, so moving the thing around is a right pain in the backside. Can you put, can you just use kitchen oven microwave to heat, yeah. um, I don't use a microwave, um, but um, there was somebody on the live uh, last week that was saying that they do. And um, uh, my advice is that you put it in for a short period of time, 
put on a low heat, um, uh, setting and um, do not put it in for a long period of time you it, it, it will it will go molten lava and you will burn yourself but if you want to use the oven you just it, this is this, it's 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 wax that, like um I, i've used it in my own oven now I, I i my oven that i'm using here is for the workshops that i do so uh, uh that's it's just dedicated for that but if you're clean about what you're doing uh, i put a tray in there just in case of um a little bit of spillage uh, but you can use an oven absolutely um the temperature you want to put the oven to is between 50 and 70. Uh, sometimes when i'm impatient which is often i will go up to 100 degrees uh, but i'm keeping an eye on it the, uh, if i keep it at 100 degrees it will melt um, and it will turn uh, like 100 degrees will burn you um, uh, 50 uh, 50 degrees um, uh, to 70 degrees the clay is not going to burn you um, so yes uh, you can use uh, an ordinary oven but I put a tray underneath tin foil something um, that because uh, no matter what you do there will be uh, the, uh, the cup at the bottom of the cup that's going to get clay and um, it it just spreads and goes everywhere so um, yes you can use an oven but I use a dedicated oven um, always the other thing you could use is I don't like doing this um, but um, uh, because it creates a mess the other thing I use is a um, a crock pot one, one it's cheap you can get a cheap one actually a, a crock pot will cost you about 30 euro you can get an oven for about 40 euro um, real, a really small bread oven um, in Aldi or Lidl now I do not sculpt I've said that a few times on my um, cutting mat uh, I have this is brown uh, I, I like I call it brown that's literally if you whip me in the workshop you can have a bit of brown and everybody knows what exactly what I'm talking about. It's a brown roll. Um, it's manila uh, is uh, what it's called manila. Um, and uh, if you if you if you've no money, uh, go to IKEA, go outside, and there's a big roll of it there, and you can take as much of it as you like for nothing. Um, no, I didn't say that. Um, but uh, buy something first, lads, and then wrap it up in manila. Um, it's also nice. I find it nice um, for uh, Christmas presents. So I'm just going to get this ready. Cool. Um, now, the cutting mat is underneath. Um, and as I said, the cutting mat is big, heavy, and it's actually, it's not that as heavy, it's more awkward than anything else. Um, so I leave it on my table and I put the brown roll on top. So the brown roll, I can paint on it, I can do chemicals, whatever. Um, now, what I always do, and there's a f uh, I think there's a few people in here that actually um, have worked with me in workshops the table in the say a molding room everything will get um, a sheet of uh, manila uh, brown on it and then when you are actually working the manila will be up on the wall and uh, you pull it off cut it put it down on on the table that already has manila on it and um, uh, then what I find really really useful is that um, I can write on this, I can do formulas on this and um, and I've seen, I, I actually don't have a sharpie, I usually have a sharpie but I don't need a sharpie with this but, uh, but the, um, uh, I can write formulas down on the manila I can, um, if, if I'm being, if, if it's, some chemicals we use um, like, like let's say call it the A's and the B's and there could be a D, a deadener, there could be a H, hardener um, uh, there could be um, another chemical for lengthening the process. There could be another chemical for uh, making the process really quick. Um, uh, inevitably, well, the ones that I use anyway, uh, everything's clear. Uh, so what sometimes what I do is I put the cup um, uh, down onto the Manila, draw a line around it, and um, I will and on the the cup I will say A. Uh, it is part A. Um, and on uh, the, I draw a line around it, and that is A. So this goes back to there. Now I know that's a bit anal, um, but uh, and it's a, it sounds a little bit ridiculous. Uh, but um, I'm not able to print it. Uh, you don't have. To, I wouldn't worry about that. Um, it's up to you. Um, uh, uh, 
uh, what's Momo was saying is she printed it off and it didn't come out at 70 uh, um, by 105. It doesn't have to be 70 by 105. I'm not actually going to go by measurements. I've uh, This here, um, it, sh it should have printed out. I hope it did for everybody. It did for me. Um, uh, maybe it's in your print settings um, that it ch changed it. But if you want to make it bigger, absolutely make it bigger. But um, I'm actually not going to go work with measurements. I'm going to work with, uh, well I am working with measurements, but what I'll be doing is, um, I'll just use my calipers. I will be going off against uh, here and say, well the distance from there to there is that. I'm not worried about the measurement. I'm just worried, I'm worried about the distance. So it doesn't really matter if it's uh, uh, when you print it out, if it comes out at 70 by uh, 105. If it's a little bit bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter at all. Um, yeah. Cool, you have your template done. Excellent. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I know that's anal to do that. But when you have a line of, say, maybe four chemicals, they're all clear and, um, and it's just to keep it in motion, uh, clear and possibly at different measurements. Um, it, it's just fantastic to keep things clean and keep it in your head. So that's why I use Manila all the time. Now, uh, another thing I have is this. I'll show you. My kids laugh at me when I um, call this by its proper name. It's called a whirly gig. It's a potter's wheel. It's a manual potter's wheel, um, and uh, I might be using that, I might not. Some people are asking me, should we make a stand? Um, I don't think you need a stand. Um, you could make a stand. Um, I know uh, Aiden, he's actually made a, a, what do you call it, an armature. And some people don't ha I have the facilities to do that, so um, what, I, what I actually did for mine is, now lads, this sculpt I've spent about half an hour on, so be nice. Um, that there, he'd probably he'd probably kill me for doing this, but I'll clean it up later. Um, uh, the, the, I've got these from uh, Fort Seal. If you look into uh, the lives, uh, you'd hear me mention them before. Uh, what it is, is, you put your eye on top of this, so you can um, hold it and you can paint the eye without touching the eye. Um, this here, uh, so I put this inside the head, and it stands. Um, so um, that is useful for uh, turning it around and um, just making sure like I can even see which is great um, looking in that camera there that's off there. A um, little bit off, a little bit off. Um, uh, that's fantastic but being able to look at that um, uh, uh, on a turnaround can be useful. They're heavy it's raised, uh, it, like it's good for there, on that screen there, um, but uh, it's raised everything up about, what, eight inches, um, um, but, but it, it, I'd be sculpting like this and my shoulders be wrecked. So what I'm going to do, I might use that later, is I'm going to use uh, the, uh, the actual table. I use the back of a bowl. Yeah, yeah, whatever, if, whatever's handy, but... Um, oh, what I I've just I'm I'm short lads and I'm use, uh, my table is actually a, a drafting table so the drafting table I cannot make uh, shrink it down so the stool I'm on um, is set to the, ta uh, the table uh, so I find working at this uh, level good um, so uh, this is the one I did earlier so uh, and I haven't I haven't finished it at all um, I just thought it'd be uh, good to actually see uh, um, what I'm about to do and. Uh, to see how the templates work and then we use the templates. Let me see here. Template done. Backbone. You've attempted to trace. Cool. Um, so uh, I would hope at this stage uh, is can everybody tell me if you, everybody is happy to move on to sculpting? Just let me know while I, while I um, gather some more stuff. Now, actually, I've discovered I've done something wrong, and uh, I've, I was actually looking at 
the piece uh, the template I did earlier just be aware of this lads I've just actually looked at it and said, said no that's wrong that's not right I can't use that this here is an on the cut I will not be able to use I have to cut out from that point there you'll understand now in one minute um, I forgot to show you that so just cut that bit off when you put this back in you'll see a little gap see there a little gap so just do that let me see I'm ready to rock cool that's cool you did in half an hour rough trace done happy yeah can pick it up yup template done excellent excellent this is savage lads I I was one I I, I didn't know uh, like this is all an experiment for me um, because uh, I've been thinking for a long time a long long time that I would love to do online courses but I was going how the hell do you do this um, and uh, it's nice to be able to uh, do this and get the response from yourselves that you um, you know that you're following along I know we haven't sculpted yet but you're getting into that yeah everybody happy is there anybody not happy to move on they need a little bit of time because uh, we do have time uh, th this day lads should be uh, I know there's probably people out there that's going will you ever get on with it um, uh, you have to be aware that there are people out there that uh, are on, the, on here that are really good at what to do very very quick there are people who are not so I, I've decided that I am going from very simple um, uh, up to uh, doing the sculpt at that pace as well people are going at different paces um, and so it is what it is that's what I've decided so I'm going to get rid of this dude for a minute and um, oh no, actually I want to show you that yeah now so if you now hopefully this uh, th this nose I know on this I was working on it and, and the mouth it's not 100% right and take that out so the template fits the sculpt that makes sense. The template, this one is a little bit harder to do um, because uh, the chin is forward, uh, um, but it's really good for getting. Um, and actually, that's why that's not right. Cool. That's a digital level. But you, sorry. You can see that that uh, is how I'm using the template. Now, this I'm, I've worked on this, so um, what to get that you use this and get to this stage, I uh, will start doing that. I'm gonna stick him over there. I don't know about you, but I've sculpted all around the place that are, they're never finished. So that method of doing um, that template. I will use. I could, you could use that. Um, like that's a prototyping tem uh, technique. Um, and oh yeah, the, the others are actually the nearly forgot. So what I want to do because I forgot to do this, and then when I was actually using the template, I was going, you know, it'd be really cool if I had a little bit more lines. So I'm gonna just put put them in now. And um, the line. This is what I should have done is um, what I'm going to do is uh, later on uh, I'm learning as I go um, well I'm going to put a line around this that is 150 mil uh, and I'm going to bring the lines out and you'll understand that um, in a minute so these lines I did not extend them I'm asking you to extend them The reason for that is when I'm using the template, the template hasn't got the reference on it anymore, so therefore I can't see the lines. Whereas if I had have actually put the lines outside of the reference, this is the reference, the um, the, uh, the, uh, the actual skull, but the um, the template doesn't have uh, the lines on it, and it, you do need it. So I should have put it on it, but I didn't, but I'm gonna, as I said, this has moved on from the um, the first one that I emailed you, and it's gonna move on again. I don't think I need to do 
that one. Yeah. Cool. So it should look like that. So uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to do that um, on the other side as well. And um, I'm going to do it on the front one too. Now, could you do this for a full size head? Of course you could. Now, it's going to take uh, material to do it, but yeah, of course you could. And lads, you could go on YouTube and you come across savage sculptors out there and they'll do it a different way. That doesn't mean it's um, uh, the right way. It's just another, another way. So this is one way. Like on, on this one, you can see that I do have, the, actually do have those lines. Um, um, so I can use them, but I don't have them uh, uh, on, no, I do have them on that, but I can't see them on that. So I, I'm gonna just spend a little bit of time uh, getting uh, these lines in because I will need to use them later. I think everybody, my phone has calmed down, so everybody's obviously um, here. Don't forget to share, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. So there's, if you want to share and get more people in here, um, just press the, share, press the share button. It's underneath. And what I intend to do is, um, I'm going to do a few more of these tutorials. The next one will be actually molding this fella. So to not miss out on that, like I do advertise, uh, you know, ad advertise. I do put it out on um, social media that I'm doing these things. And then people tell me, I didn't know that you were doing this. I would have loved to have done it. So um, what I'm saying to everybody is subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and follow either the Facebook or the um, Instagram. I'm actually on TikTok now, um, which I just I don't I'm not I don't, I don't need another one, but um, I I decided to do it so you can follow me in that if you want. Yeah, so to not miss out on the tutorials, subscribe and then you get an email when um, I think you get an email, don't you? When you um, that there's an, a, a new video. It's all new to me, lads. It, like, I have a few people on to me, um, especially from uh, the college. My colleagues saying, Jeez, you really know what you're doing. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Chance of my arm. Learning as I go. This whole program that you see in front of you, like this sort of stuff, where is it? Um, I'll just, yeah, I'm gonna lose, you're gonna uh, uh, lose me for a second, then I'll come back. Doing all this sort of stuff. Oh my god, it takes time. It's fun, but it takes time. And um, but uh, it's not the, my natural thing that I do. I don't know why I'm doing it. Right. So I'm just gonna spend a little while with this. I know it's uh, I, uh, uh, this. Uh, you're probably going. What is he doing? Come on, sculpt. But um, it is important. And there's nothing on this side at all. The more reference you have, the more the less likelihood you're going to go off. Because even with reference, you will go off. So try and minimize that as much as possible. Now, uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because uh, I was, uh, when I was actually sculpting this little skull, I was going, oh, that would be really handy if I knew where that mark was, because then I could li put it on to uh, my sculpt uh, really quickly. Now, everybody should have something like that. That's that done. That's done. That's that done. Don't know about you lads, but I'd say at the end of the day, I'm going to be wrecked. 
one thing doing this, you know, as a sculpt yourself. Another thing, breaking it down into manageable pieces for people to understand and then, then do it. It's like sculpting it twice. Well, or three times because I've already sculpted it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the reference and put these lines already on it so it's already done. So. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's like if you're making a garment, you know, you need to plan it all out and um, uh, it needs to be all organized. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually cut that little bit out. Where's my scalp gone? Yeah. Just going to cut this little bit out. Let me see. Be nice to get the jaw. I'll just cut that little bit out there. Be nice to get the job. So now we're actually going to sculpting. Mother God, that took a while. How long are we doing this? An hour and a half. That's what I, that's what well that's what I thought it would the book it would be. Um, now I have spent a whole day like uh, I would spend uh, what uh, yeah uh, a half day definitely um, on uh, templates um, uh, when I'm when I'm doing a sculpt. So it is something that is well worth doing. No, clay. The clay I'm using is a uh, Chavant NSP medium. Um, it's the uh, terracotta, uh, or as um, uh, Catherine likes to call it, the chocolate one. Um, uh, there is, it, it is in green, and now this has been out a wee while, so it's getting a, a little bit hard. Uh, there are people out there that don't have it. Um, some people are using air drying clay, uh, like DAS clay. Um, the, I don't like using DAS clay, and there's, only, there's one reason you can use it, absolutely can use it, um, and it'll be perfect for this. But um, when if you're doing DAS clay for something like these dudes, um, to get the texture onto them at the surface, ta DAS is usually uh, has is reinforced uh, with fibers in it, and um, it's an air drying clay. You don't put it in the kiln, and that, uh, that those hairs get in the way of the texture. Uh, there are people out there using pottery clay, fine. Um, now, what will happen with it, it, it might crack. I don't think it will. If uh, What I'm going to do now uh, is, uh, if you have pottery clay, um, uh, you could actually make this solid if you wanted to. Uh, if you have wax and you don't want to use all your wax, um, uh, what you could do is uh, create a tinfoil ball. So that's the first thing. First thing I'm going to do is a tinfoil ball. And it's going to be fairly tight, um, not too tight, but fairly tight. Um, I still want to be able to push into it if I want to. Now, you can make sure, use the reference, you get this over the right side. So, um, that there we know fits inside that head. So if we wanted, uh, we could make it bigger. We could make it bigger and bigger. And um, I wouldn't make it too big, um, but um, but we know that uh, this here. Um, let me see if I got the full front. Give me one sec. So you know that you can see that that will fit in that that will fit in that. Um, but uh, that there, I will only use that method if I don't have enough clay. Um, and uh, but uh, this here, that there is about four hundred grams. Um, it's uh, if you did it solid, um, the uh, the one I've made already. Uh, but if you wanted to, um, pottery clay is cool. Um, the what do you call it? The this one that I've used. I'd say it's about 400 grams if you're doing it solid. So um, I'm going to, I've done, I'm just showing you that that's what you could do. And then what you, what you could do is you build it up and up uh, into a ball. And uh, you could literally build it up until the ball is so big and you're only putting a, a small bit all around it. So you could do that uh, if you wanted to. Um, if you look at Beckett, um, that's exactly what is, what he, uh, how he's done. I've created the armature and then I filled out um, a lot of it uh, with, with tinfoil. 
tinfoil you can actually sculpt as well. So that is a useful t uh, sort of trick. I'm not going to use it, um, but uh, it's a useful trick, so tinfoil. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start creating a ball. So that's what the first thing I want you to do is create a ball. Um, and then um, what we're going to do is create a, a, a two balls. And one of those balls is going to be bigger than the other. And if you look at your uh, reference, um, you have two balls. Well, one's a geoid, one's a ball. That ball there and this ball here. Um, and uh, it's, it, this is elliptical and this is elliptical here so it's not fully a ball um, uh, does anybody know what it is called if it's not a, if it's a ball but it's ellipsed I think it's a geoid but if there might be other people out there that will tell me uh, yeah if you're uh, sculpting and you uh, want to make sure that it is mirrored or try and mirror it um, uh, the, to the opposite side, if you sculpt on the right hand side, which generally I do, um, you can use a mirror, put it in the center, and then uh, or put it to the side, and then you can actually see uh, what, what's on the right hand side and sculpt it away. But yeah, it's, it's handy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small ball. So, that's the first thing I want you to do is make a small ball, and that needs to be a little bit bigger, so I need more clay. Don't worry about the details of the skull yet, uh, we'll get to that. Um, um, don't worry about uh, uh, um, the shape of the skull, we'll get to that, just get a ball. And you get two balls. Well, did anybody give you the name? No. So you don't know and I don't know, let's call it a geoid. Don't think that's the right name but the world is a geoid, that's what I'm thinking. Not, it's not fully a ball. Um, now, if you have rings, I suggest you take them off. And yes, lads, I am married and I don't wear a ring. The reason why I don't wear a ring because I lost it because I took it off. And um, I need to get another one. Uh, it is in a bag of plaster somewhere. Um, um, in some skip somewhere. So I'm trying to make this ball. I'm not particularly worried if it is smooth it's like make it smooth as much as you can but i'm not that worried if it's if, if it's really really smooth or not um if now we could start using uh, some tools uh, what's uh, useful to have is uh, one of these and um so, so what i'm going to use is a combination of the template and one of these um, i'm going to use the template as well um, but um, I could use actually. Let me get that other side. And if you don't have it printed off, you could do that. And uh, well, let's do that. Let's do that. Not use this. Most people probably have that. Now the reason why I'm doing this, uh, this is the uh, its right hand side. Uh, I know what it looks like the left. That's the left. That's uh, that's the right. That's the left. Um, that's the template, but this is the reference, so it's handy to have um, the reference. I'm going to put the ball on that, I can't see it. Um, but if I use the, uh, uh, the calipers, and uh, these are sculpting calipers, um, if you haven't got them, um, I'm going to use these as well. These are vernier calipers. Um, I'm not really worried about the measurement, but I can uh, measure uh, the diameter of that ball, and I can bring uh, it up to my ball. And it is the right size. Now, people will probably want he just did that by looking. And at this stage, yeah, I can because I'm going. Um, I've looked at millimeters for 25 years, and um, I can go. Yeah, that's about right. Um, so I wouldn't do that all the time, though. Um, so. Um, So if we are using pottery clay, can we make the ball in the 
in the clay. If you're using pottery, pottery clay uh, and you're saying to use a tin foil ball in the clay, I don't suggest it. Um, the reason why is that, um, and the reason why I like using this is uh, this here will not dry out. Uh, pottery clay will dry out, and when you put that into the center, it'll dry out and then it'll crack. Um, if you, you this skull, if you did it solidly, it's that it's not that big, um, so uh, the likelihood of it cracking if you let it dry out over a slow period of time, it it won't it probably won't crack. Uh, whereas if you put that in the center, it will crack. Um, there's no question about. It. So that there, one ball done. So I'm going to do um, my elliptical shape. Is everybody with me? Let me know. That is warm. Drop the temperature. Is everybody there? I'm always um, scared that this thing drops in the middle of me doing stuff like this and I don't know it. So what I want to do is, the thing with being in the oven and taking it out straight is a bit messy so it, create, it sticks onto your hands. Um, so, But if you roll it and let it cool down and then roll your fingers around it, um, it'll take it off. So. I'm just adding more, put it to the ball. Wax on, wax off. Now, if you're unsure of the size, now I know that there's no way it's big enough, put it up against it. You can see this is a good bit to go. Good, you guys are still there. I know it's going to be difficult, lads, um, with sculpting and well, it'll get to a stage that we, we, we um that when we get this right um <clears throat> sort of a little bit slower and more relaxed and it actually starts beginning to look like something other than um we're all in kindergarten making balls but as i said if anybody listens to me any sculpt that i ever do is made out of balls and sausages. Balls. Emma Mac, how's it going? De hey horrible, did you get your clay? I don't I don't know how people got the clay. It is on its way, um but um um unfortunately I think the um the post is not normal. So it is what it is. So I want to get this ball. Now, I could be a lot quicker at this, um, but uh, I am taking my time because there are people here that need time. And um, as you can see, I'm going to bring that down and it needs to get a little bit bigger so I can get more clear. That setup is great for doing Beckett, but not this. Um, but saying that, uh, when I do workshops, um, there's a few people on here have done them. Uh, what I do is, uh, well, the last one I did was uh, a 10 day, well, would be uh, hyper realistic, would we call that? A 10 day silicone bus course. And uh, the oven, there's two of them one's at one end of the room and one's at the other end of the room. So you have to get up and walk and sorry your clay but um, if you bring the clay like i have it in a cup it's over here and if you bring the clay onto your table um it will stay warm for a good period of time um so not yet you, you didn't get the clay yet but uh but you had some at home i'm delighted i'm delighted i was i was going feck it um um 
like I, I really didn't think about this too well actually if I, di I did but um, um, when I was doing the competition to I thought people would get it, but I really didn't think that the corona would. I thought it would. I thought people would have it. Now, I, I, what I didn't realize, uh, to be tr frankly honest, was I didn't realize that people from England would enter, and um, uh, and I was going. And now my kids, uh, again, my kids picked the uh, the winners of uh, the clay, so um, I didn't, but they picked Hey Horrible, and. She lives in England, and um, so it's going to oh crap. I don't know how long that's going to take, but um, they said it would be it would be there, but obviously it isn't. I'm glad the person in Mexico didn't win. I think that would have cost me a fortune. Yeah. Again, like if you don't want to waste clay, simple. And to be honest, you could act, you could, if you if you wanted, and it would be quite fun to do. You could make a, a tin foil version of this skull. Um, so you can see that there's a, a little bit to go. Now I, I really don't. I don't. Does anybody know how many people are on here? Because I don't have. The full information here because I'm in a separate window. It's just to be curious to see how many people's actually sculpting at once, um, because that is really cool. That there were, uh, I, that that is what I actually really wanted more than anything else. That we'd be all sculpting, at, uh, loads of people would be sculpting at once, and um, that's why I sort of started Beckett with Beckett, because I thought it would be good. Well, it'd be good for my head, and I thought it'd be good for other people's heads that they could scope and get the mind off things. Does anybody know? Does it say, is there a number of people? Because I'd, be, I'd be curious because I don't know. There was nine, uh, 93 people signed up, but I don't know if there's 93 people here. 44! Jesus, that's mad that is. Uh, uh, that needs, uh, 93 people signed up and 40 pe 44 people are actually here. But 44 people, cool, mother of Jesus. Now, what I find is um, my fingers are better than any tool at, at certain stages. And I use in here a lot. How do you measure the small ball? I'll show you. The small ball again. You can do it two ways. Or actually three ways with uh, if, if you use different tools. Um ball down on reference. And can you see on the reference there's a, a green line around here? That's the size. That's it. I don't even have to measure it. I could also just put this back together again. Use the verniers and measure the measure it. Stop moving. Measure it and then um that there is the width, if that makes sense. That's a vernier caliper, and then this here is a sculpting um, calipers. And, um, well, that's not, the, I actually didn't use them. So, there you go, that's the size. Get used to using these things. Um, the reason why you use them, as opposed to this, is this. Measure. So it's a roughly what forty nine. Then you are uh, uh, looking, and can you see it's forty nine? You can sort of see it's forty nine ish. And um, whereas with the uh, calipers, uh, you know it's forty nine. Uh, actually, you don't know it's forty nine. You know it's the right width. Um, cool. It's quarter to twelve. So that's the little ball. I need to make this uh, big ball um, bigger. Um, but I, uh, and it's not just a ball anymore. So just look at the reference now. My ball is done. It's not a ball anymore. It's turning into a geoid. Um, and um, what I want to start doing now is sort of building up the frontal lobe and um, building up uh, uh, the base here. And look down and um, start building it up. Now, but I, st I still want to keep it uh, 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 not a ball shape, but I still want to make that geoid. Um, but uh, look at it, don't be just um, uh, making a ball for ball's sake. Um, 
actually look at it it's not it's uh, so I know that I have to put more at the front what's the width 70 mil well 70 mil is what I'm doing and um, but um, uh, the width you don't need, you need to use measurements and um, you could literally um, like okay let's say we don't have a ruler let's say we don't have cl uh, clamps uh, let's say we have a piece of a stick so the width of that from there to there is that then well locking down um, uh, it's a different way of doing it but that is uh, that's right so you, you don't need to know uh, you need to use measurements you just need to make sure that it is the right width um, uh, we don't we, from now on we don't need to even confuse our head with measurements we don't even need to know so let's move on a bit so is everybody with me everybody should be sculpting at this stage I know that this might not feel like sculpting but everybody's at least everybody's hands should be starting to get messy um, now what I'm starting to do is uh, as well is in my head I'm looking at the reference and um, I'm making that geoid shape and I'm building it up and um, I know oh, excuse me I know by well by practice um, that the back of the head is wider than the front of the head and if you actually look at the reference you will see that it is can you see let me see I'll give you some terms here so you can actually see 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 um well actually you don't need to beside the socket here uh, right beside the socket here and um that line that i was talking to you the um uh, the temporal line the temporal line is, like you, you can see it in me actually see that line there see it there that line that line is that line there and it goes back that line there that is the width of the front of the head from there to there that is the back of the head. So the front of the head is, is, is uh, like looking at that. The front of the head is narrower than the back of the head. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do now is roughly, roughly uh, make the front of this. I, I'm not really thinking about it with reference, but roughly I'm looking at it and I'm saying, um, well, the front of the head is narrower than the back of the head. So you, you can see on that that I'm building up a shape that the front is narrower than the back. So can you see that? So it's tapering in a bit. So I want to start doing that as well. Now, if you need, we're going to, the next couple of stages when I, uh, from um, when we get, move on from this, we need. Um, now you can roughly see that there. Can you see that there? That that has fallen in line with that, but this hasn't down here. So I'm going, okay, it's not a ball anymore, um, but um, and uh, this is a, a, the geoid shape out, let me see, get a ruler, out, out here, but that actually isn't the skull. So I'm, you can see that it's uh, no, not geoidal anymore, and you can see there's a little bit on this, this side here, there, to build up. I'm going to do that now. This here, that's not part of the skull, but that's just part of, that's part of the, um, uh, the reference, so that, yes, it's, a, it's a, uh, an elliptical shape, so that roughly what I'm trying to do, but it's flat at the back. Um, but then this here, this bottom piece, the bottom base of the, uh, the skull, I have, to add, I have to add that in. So I'm gonna add that in now. Now what you need to keep an eye on is what's up, what's down. This, for the minute, let's just put a line across the top. Let's just, we're going to get rid of this line. That's the top. It's not the bottom and it's not the side. That's the top. So even when I'm sculpting like that, it's the top. So that's that piece there, up there. So just do that and um, keep that, and it's it's a little bit off center, 
I'm not really using it fully yet as a line. I just want to put it in there so that I am. Um, uh, now what I like is put a ball here and a ball here. That's a little bit off. I'm gonna... Now skulls are not round. Um, they are symmetrical, but they're not round. So if you see that it, it is not round, go for round first, and then and symmetrical. Then we can, uh, after that we can get the skull shape. So this is the I'm doing the, the back of the head. How do I know it's the back of the head? Because that's the top of the head. Build this out a bit more. Now notice we haven't used the template yet. But we will be just building this up and if at even at this stage you're going oh, that, I, I don't know what he's doing I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused you're not going to be in a, in a minute I'm going to do uh, uh, if, if it literally is a big ball um, or it shouldn't be a ball I've not said that it's a ball that there is an elliptical ball We're using one blade between the two of us. We're going very slow. But that's okay. That's okay. Oh. I've, n I've never talked as much as m in my life in the, in the last couple of months. No. Let me see. Let me see, I just want to put this, it's a little bit fiddly. That's, um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move these, these out of the way for a minute. And I'm going to move on to, because I am going to use them, I am going to use them. It's just, I just want to roughly and quickly build this up. So, and the template's just moving around That's a little bit too much. So you can see that the uh, front lobe is roughly, it's hard to show you and actually do it myself. So the front lobe is roughly right, it's getting flat at the back, but this piece here, it's, I'm building it up, but it needs to be built up a hell of a lot more. So that is the back. How do I know it's the back? That's the top. Balls and sausages, lads. No. I'm going to actually hop on to um, when I get to to a stage. You can see that it needs to come out here. But that there's fine detail there. I'm not going to get because I'm hopping from one thing to another. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute uh, with the actual reference. I want to get this piece in here, so I'm going to build that up, and then we're moving on to the actual template that we spent an hour making. Gonna make the bottom flat. Try and keep it symmetrical. No matter what you're doing, try and keep it symmetrical. Now 
Now this is beginning to sort of look like a motorcycle helmet. That's actually what it should look like. Now, what begins to happen is, I think I need to add a little bit here, but at the back of the head, you can see this line. What's that line called? Oh yeah, it's uh, uh, it, it, down here, it's the occipital bone. Um, but that line there, it's, it's if you feel the back of the head, there's a, a, a little scoop at the top of your um, spine. Above that is the occipital lobe, or occipital bone. Now, roughly, roughly, and I mean roughly, that's the shape I'm looking at. I haven't looked at the front yet. I'm just looking at the back. Let me have a look at it. Cool. But I'm still missing that piece there. How do you get that? I'm going to put a piece of clay. Flatten it out. I'll put a piece of clay there down the center. How do I know it's the center? The line I put at the top. I'm going to put a center line down this in a minute as well. I'm just going to pull that out a little bit. Where is my, yeah, back of my head? So, what I want to do is I'm going to use the I'm going to get rid of this for a sec. I'm going to come back to that. Um, so I'm going to use, get my template. And I'm going to use, that's the front of the head. And that's the back of the head. I'm going to put that aside for a minute. And uh, this is the back of the head reference. Um, but what I want to do uh, first is, I'm going to put this together. And I'm just going to um, put that... down and what I want to do is I want to get the ruler and put it in the center see that there that's in the center I'm gonna just make sure that this is the center because I'm actually I want everything to be um, uh, trying to get everything in the center from now on or symmetrical so you can see you see that that there is the center Go across, and that should be 90 degrees, which it is. Then the back, and then the other side. So, that there, get the back of the head first. Bring this in. And can you see? And I've squeezed it in there so you can act, so you can actually see it. See the, how much I'm missing down here, and uh, it's a little bit flat on top there, and at the back, at the bit that I've sh can you see that? Yeah, the bit at the back. I was saying that already. It needs to be filled in, um, um, but I can absolutely see that it needs to be filled in there. So what I'm going to do is fill it in. So from now on, I will need to keep the center line. I'm going to keep it all the time. I'm going to keep uh, that's the center line going down the, the uh, down through here, and then um, and I'm going to keep the side line, which is that it cut in half the actual head, cut in half from ear to ear that way. So sausages. Put it on. I'm not going to be too worried about. Um, this, see this here, that step in there, not worried about that yet, let's not worry about that for a minute, let's just get one thing 100% um, right. Now, uh, that there, it won't go in, it will go in if I push it in, but it's actually pushing into this clay. But can you see it's on the center line and there's a big gap there at the bottom here, not worried about that yet. But can you see that um, it's, it's cut into this? The base that I've, uh, bit of clay that I put in there. We want to do that because look, 
Now I got a tool. Now I'm gonna try try. I'll be using different tools, but I'm gonna use like uh, lollipop sticks and stuff like that as well. But I'm gonna scrape that down on till that incision that I made is not there anymore. Not worry about that yet. Put this back in. And you can see there's a gap. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Uh, there's a massive gap down at the bottom here. Um, but there's a gap just there. So I'm just going to take that off and I'm going to fill some clay. So all I'm trying to do is get the profile, profile of um, the like this profile here. That's what I'm trying to get at the minute. Um, template. We're getting a bit messy here. Clean up. Uh, keep it. Try and keep it. Everything straight. bit on top, a bit flat, and uh, we're adding a bit on top, I've got rid of my lines, I'm going to put that back, those lines back in, and that is stuck there because uh, I've put some clay there, that out and you can see there's a line there. See yeah, there's a line there. There's a line there, there's too much clay. So just scrape that off until there's no clay or no line. Then that there fits perfectly, absolutely perfectly, apart from down here. Now I'm going to fill that. So I'm going to get, uh, I'm actually going to put these lines back in. Always keep, when you get rid of a line, put it back in, you're going to need them. I don't know about you lads, last night I couldn't sleep. I don't know if it was a full moon or what. Can you explain about the 90 degree angles? I mean, yeah, absolutely. And um, I'll just let me finish this little bit and I'll explain that again. Um, let's, let's just say that I have created a template. Actually, this one's good, I'll show you here. I've created a template. Now you on this, let me see, can we see? We. You understand that we made a template like that. Forget about the, the this is, I was thinking a different thing that, that is flat. But you understand that side. Yeah, I'm going to uh, go to heaven now. We understand that side, and we under that, understand that side. That's the front, that's the side. Look at it from the top. Creates an X. Line, line. That is 90 degrees. You understand that. Look from the top. Center line, line across, cross, cross. So that's what the lines are. Symmetry. I'm, I'm trying to make this as symmetrical as I possibly can. And um, so that when I actually get on to pretty much sculpting the detail in it, um, I don't have to worry about symmetry. Um, I, um, well, the, the majority of symmetry because it's there. So that's why I'm putting lines in here, but I'm mimicking this here. Um, because everything that I've done with these templates, I've cut it in half. Um, so that, uh, that this here, when I put it up against it, 
is going in half. Now look at this, look at this, this won't, doesn't want to go in. So I'm going to squish that bit in, get it up there. Now, just going to put the cross line back in there. Now the, uh, it would be nice if I had a back profile, um, but I don't. So you'll have to believe me when I sculpt it. Just copy me. But don't worry about it too much for a minute. Did, did I answer your question? Yeah. Now you can see there's a little bit in here that there's a gap. So I'm just going to, um, and you can see there's a big cut out of that. So what I'm going to do is use this, scrape it back, scrape it back. And I'm going to use actually this layer here to fill that little bit that was a gap. What a pretty bum. Put it back together again. Oh, that's a little bit off. There we go. And it's a little bit deep there. And it's a little bit deep here. Now with the um, 90 degrees, what I'm trying to do is even keep my tool at 90 degrees. So when I'm scraping it up, I'm not scraping it like that. I'm trying to keep everything symmetrical. Now, we haven't done this side yet, and you can see that it's, it's not right. Don't worry about it yet. Let's get this one done first. So now we know that, uh, sorry, just get this back in and you'll be able to see now that line there I am pushing it in a, a little bit so that it actually stays in that's in half cool so that's there then we bring this uh, side of the template up and bring it in yeah. so what uh, I'm going like it's coming up on lunchtime lads um, now uh, I, uh, we will have this done today so don't, uh, don't worry about it we're going to uh, but what I want to do is uh, offer that up there and uh, this side I'm uh, happy with um, uh, this side we haven't even done yet so we're about to do that um, and, and, and don't forget we have that ball we're going to uh, bind that in there um, but we're going to uh, need some clay and this has gone cold in all the time um, waiting and all that sort of stuff um, so Right, so give me a thumbs up lad so I know that you're back. Don't be silent because um, I nearly had a feckin' heart attack there. Prepping this for, for a couple of weeks and oh my god, it's not going to happen. I don't think so. Um, so, uh, what? we're back. <sighs> wow. Um, so, uh, to answer again, um, I think it was Elsa's uh, question. Uh, why the T or what's the lines for? Um, well, you can see now what the lines are, uh, what they're for, and I'm just putting them back in. I'm happy with the back. I'm about to start the front. Um, so we're in here. I'm going to go, um, um, uh, let's go uh, a, a little bit half an hour uh, into lunch, lads, and then we'll have a break. Um, so is that all right with everybody? Yeah, back now. <laughs> uh, that was a that was a no mean feat to do that. I'm glad I've a little bit of knowledge now with uh, the live streaming and stuff like that. I was flipping and flopping out of stuff. So you can see there's a big gap. So I'm going to solve that now. And um, I've just got some uh, some clay. It's a little bit working up a bit. Uh, got some fresh clay. And. Um, I'm just going to put that uh, sausage and 
I'm gonna put that at, on the front. Yeah, I uh, have it up on um, on the web uh, website as well, lads. So same thing again. This is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer this up, and uh, we're gonna push it in and down. Try and keep level, and. You can see that there is uh, that line in there, so we're going to get rid of that line. So it's exactly what we did on the back. So we're getting the side profile done first. Now I'm going to go on to some sculpting tools in a minute because this is not as quick as I would like it to be. So, give me a thumbs up, lads, if you are. Um, well, these are all happy and rock and roll. And again, I apologise for that. I um, didn't. Th I didn't think I said a, a rude word. Or that, um, maybe there's maybe there's somebody out there that doesn't like me. Um, I'll affect them anyway. So, um, take it back, I'm doing the front now, I've done the back, so I'm just cleaning up, um, I always try, whatever I put on, um, I know it's not getting to a skull shape yet, but whatever I do, I want to make it symmetrical, because I'm going to add on bits and bits and bits and bits. Now, there's a big gap for the jaw, you can see that, big gap for the jaw. And that is pretty much nearly there. Pretty much nearly there. So I'm gonna take this out when I get in my way. So um, that there, I'm happy uh, with, but the brow is a little bit off. Um, but what I'm gonna do now, piece yourself, whatever that is, piece, ta uh, well, I need some alcohol. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is get the other ball, get this other ball. And um, I'm going to just shave a little piece off it. Um, I'm going to shave it off. Oh my god. That was. Um... How are you, Paddy? How are you, Shane? How are you, Kate? Um, These are all joined in. I'm glad we're back. Um, I'm doing the front. And I'm just going to be adding that ball in there. But I just need to. Um, uh, cut a piece off the ball and a piece off uh, this so that it can go together. You're a bit behind. Don't. I'm going to explain what I did. So don't don't worry. Don't worry. We will catch up. And I again I apologise for the, uh, for all of that knocking around. What? I'm going to clean up here as well because it's a bit of a mess. What we did before calamitous stuff happened is um, uh, we made the back of the head and I think everybody, uh, just thumbs up, everybody got to that stage um, and you can see that the back of the head is a little bit, actually there's a little bit there we could put in, um, the back of the head is, uh, the profile is done, the sculpt's not done but the profile is done. Yeah, I'm going to show you uh, this, I'm going to go over this again, but this is what I was doing. I was um, just going to put my marks in again because they're getting a little bit lost. So that's my um, cross and center line. That's a little bit over. So, I have filled in the back, and this here should be able to go in and out, in and out, and fit it absolutely perfectly, which it does. Hi Eva, thanks for getting back. Sorry about all of that. Um, now, 
So I've done the back to, to, a, to, the, to a point of block. This is blocking it, blocking out the sculpt. Um, so what I've done is, um, and um, I know that it finishes here. This is the um, the the, um, the line on the bottom. Actually, I'll put I'll put the line the whole way around. So is everybody back with me? Be an awful shame that we um, don't get to actually do this today after all of this. So you can see that there is there. That there fits center line, and so this is this half. Um, the profile is done. Um, now we're going to sculpt into it again, uh, um, but it's done for the minute. Now this here, um, we're going to then do the front half. So the front half, we're going to stick this ball. So I've cut a flat piece off here and a flat piece off the uh, ball. Don't worry a bit of, if it's too much you've taken off, um, uh, don't worry. If it's not enough, um, we will sort that out. I need to make this part of this ball. So I'm going to go to my friend. Um, uh, I know there's people coming in and um, I will go back and forth um, a wee bit uh, so that we get back all to the same stage. And um, I'm glad that we can actually get back together again lads. That was a, I was, that was going to be calamitous. It was going to be very disappointing because um, I, I was actually enjoying myself there and uh, getting into it. So I have to get back into this again. So what I'm doing is literally just making the small ball um, uh, part of the big ball. Um, so I'm not really, I'm not sculpting. I'm just part, making part a part of. Hopefully that makes sense. So for the people who've just come in. Um, we were working on the back end of the uh, the head and back end of the skull, and uh, we have just to clean this up a bit so we can see it nice and neatly. You can see the skull cross on top of the skull. Yeah, that's the center line and the center line. Bring this in to the center line, and it will fit perfectly. So that's the back of the skull done. Now we're going to do the front of the skull. I'm just going to take that out because that's going to get in my way. And um, this here is going to be a little bit awkward. You can see there that I have to take an awful lot of that off. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is just uh, uh, cut a bit of that off. And you can see, um, I just need to cut a little bit more off, but it's going in at an angle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it in so it stays. There we go. There's people coming back on um, um, onto the website and just give me a sec lads, just want to see, um, says, yeah, well, no, and, uh, so, Shona, are you back in? Just say a thumbs up in the comments there. I don't, um, um, just make sure that you're uh, you're back, and uh, I don't know what that message is. It means. So, let's continue on. Cool. Um, so, um, I've pushed that in, um, and it's, uh, it's not on the center line. I'll just get it on the center line. Yep. 
Now you can see the jaw needs to be filled out, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill out the jaw, I'm going to fill out the brow, I'm going to fill out that's where the nose is, this is where the teeth is, and that's where the jaw is, uh, what, this part of the jaw, and, um, um, the, and the jaw bone out here. And I'm going to fill that in, and I'm going to take it out, fill it in, take it out, fill it in, just like I did before, and I'm going to... How's it going, Mark? So, she used the template, but you can see why. You can see that uh, why the template gets really destroyed. And um, so, I'm going to get another ball, and I'm going to put that into. Now, try and keep this symmetrical at this stage, because it can go off. To, there's a funny line there. Get rid of that. Um, we need. To, we need to start. Uh, always try and keep it um, symmetrical. I'm just putting a little bit of a triangle there for um for the jaw. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze it in. That's cool. So with this balls and sausages and we'll build it out very quickly. Well, it should have been quickly if we um if we were on for people who've joined um and might not know we were on YouTube but it kicked us off so um we had a bit of a stressful moment trying to get back on live again. Um so that was um fairly annoying. I'm not too sure what I did wrong, um but uh, it definitely wasn't happy with me. When, you know when you you know when something comes up on YouTube and it says that you're in violation, you go, oh my God, is, is, are the cops going to come to my door? Um, yeah, what are they going to do? Um, so try and keep it symmetrical, lads. Um, even all the little bits you add, when you're filling it out, try and keep it symmetrical. And I'm hopefully I will get back into the flow. That sort of. Um, destroyed my brain for a, a wee while. What I'm going to do is do a little long sausage and I'm going to put that down the centre and do a similar what I did to the back. Um, sorry Lisa, sorry, um, m my apologies. I've been trying to, I, I sent out an email to everybody um, and I do not know what on earth was going on there but you're back now which is good. I'm glad you're back. So I'm just putting um, a line down the center. Just a sausage. And then I'm going to squeeze this in. Squeeze it in. Try and keep it in the center. And then I'm going to add a bit to the uh, jaw. Then I'm going to scrape out, you can see how much that uh, uh, is on this that needs to actually come out. So I'm just, I'm just going to um, cut this out with it. So this is a loop tool, this is one of my favourite tools, this loop tool. It's called a Kemper W21. Kemper W21, if you looked at any of the other um, you, um, tutorials that YouTube has let me uh, put up. Um, so I don't know what, what's in violation of mother of God. So I'm just cut, cutting this back um, to the profile. Now, what's great about this method, lads, is for people who don't, who can't, or, sorry, who haven't sculpted a lot, it's not that they can't, it's just you need to sculpt a fair bit to get into it. Um, it's, it's more technique than it is sculpting yet. And um, once we get all this blocking out done. Then we start. Then we're starting actually the sculpting bit, and then looking at the reference properly. Um, but once we get this done, it um, all the blocking out is there. We don't have to. We, we, we sort of sort of switch your brain off a little bit and um, just start getting into the sculpting 
playing around. So again, um, push it in. Try and keep it symmetrical. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually use a bit of clay and fill in these areas that are there's just little areas there that I want to build up. So go camp for W21. If you buy them, you um, never have to buy. It will be very few tools that you need after that, I'll tell you. So just need a little bit for the brow. Am I going too fast for people? Because the adrenaline kicked in there, and um, I might be rushing. Rushing, not rushing. No, we're going to spend. Problem now is that everybody's sending me stuff on all sorts of platforms now. Cool. So I'm um, just getting this in. I'm not, literally. I'm just. I'm. I'm not even. Think I uh, thinking about this uh, the sculpt per se. I'm just looking at lines and saying, well, that's the profile. So um, I need to fill that in um, and get it to the same level. Once I've got it to the same level, then I can start um, and I can that needs to be filled up. So little sausages, lads. Now we haven't gone on to the front profile. Once we get on to the front profile, things start happening. Uh, be able to see um, it becoming more of the skull. Now, I don't know about ye, but after this, after that, what has just happened to me trying to uh, get live, like getting live, number one, is difficult. Getting everybody in one place is hard. Um, but moving while everything is live from one platform to another platform and making sure that everybody is communicated and is in one place, that's um, a cold beer stuff. Yes, a bit fast. No, uh, and uh, oh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time, uh, Irene. I'm just, all I'm doing is, um, uh, if you're still on the back, like this one. I know, probably the adrenaline has kicked in and I'm pecking Russian. Um, so you can see there, that, there we go. Excellent. Ooh. Those two fit together. So you might be on this one. All you need to do is fill that out, take it out, take it in, fill it out. And I'm do, uh, all I'm doing is on the front is taking it out, filling it, to, um, putting it back in. Um, what I would think is that I have actually filled it, but then I've, um, I'm have i going to have this line down the center. That line down the center, it's the same what I've done before. I'm going to take that back until there is no line. And that is the actual um, the actual template. Oh yeah. I'm glad that everybody is getting back. I was I was afraid that um, once everybody could, had to to go would be left I'd be left on my own and for anybody that's just tuning in 
we were on YouTube and they kicked us out. Said we were doing things that we shouldn't have been doing. Um, God knows what um, we should not be, have been doing, but I don't, I don't know. Lads, this doesn't look like a skull yet. I know that, um, um, but it it does from that profile. And uh, you can see you can see a skull. Um, let's get this pair back. So if people could tell me if I'm if everybody's up to the same sort of level. And you can see that they'll be they have to be paired back. Uh, it's a handy technique this lads, and you to be honest, if if you can sculpt, um you could do it a lot quicker um uh, without these templates. Um but it's a very reliable way of uh sculpting. Again, I haven't sculpted the left side or the right side. All I'm worried about at the minute is the profile. Jeez, my heart's racing. I have a second heart attack. back together again. Now it's worthwhile spending time on this um, because what you can do is once you've got this done is you know it's right. You know that and uh, that and uh, the profile is right. It has to be right. It has to be right because that that is the profile uh, um, a little bit down. that profile it literally is from um, uh, your reference so it is right. Um, so trust it. Might not look right um, um, uh, when you look at it like that. That's not a skull, but it, that is a skull. So, can everybody tell me if they are at least to this stage? So let me know. Just give me a thumbs up. If you're not, let me know as well. Um, so uh, let me know if you are at this stage. I know that people on the um, uh, the website can't tell me that. Um, unfortunately, so I use I use YouTube um, uh, so that everybody can get on it. But now, unfortunately, we can't use YouTube because it kicked us off for um, I don't know. Well, I don't know why. Um, but um, we're, well, we're here. Almost there. Excellent. Um, you did great to quickly adapt. Uh, well, I wouldn't know. If, uh, I wouldn't say I did great, but um, I certainly was adapting by the skin of my teeth, and um, uh, my heart needs to stop uh, running. No, not there yet. We'll catch up. No worries. No. Um, uh, uh, like, hopefully, if this stays, and what I'm going to do, lads, at lunch, I'm going to leave this running. <laughs> I'm not going to risk, um, I'm, I'm sorry about the, the thing on the left hand side, I can't get rid of that, and the sun thing, um, but you just can, you just can see. Um, so I want everybody to that stage there. Um, Glenn McGuinness, what's wrong Glenn? Um, um, I'm still at the back profile, had to redo some stuff, uh, but we'll catch up, no worries. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is, in about seven minutes, I'm, I'm going to grab some lunch. We're going to meet back here at two. Um, so I would like everybody to be um, at... Uh, well, everybody should be at that stage uh, there for the next stage. And the next stage will be using our reference. Um, this one. And this one. And then using this one. So that's the side of the face. So just watch what happens when you bring this over. Now you have somewhere to align it, and you can see, ooh, that's you know that has to come out a good bit. So that that's going to then start giving me my skull shape um, uh, from this profile. It's going to look a bit boxy. Uh, it's quite similar to um, uh, when you're sculpting poly, because uh, poly is a reductive pro uh, polystyrene. Sorry, uh, is a reductive process. 
Um, Glenn, don't worry about being behind. Um, what I'm going to do, lads, I will... Uh, I, I'm recording this anyway, and I will kibosh it all back together and get rid of all the uh, the other stuff. Obviously, the screen will change, um, um, but uh, I will po post this out so that if today you do not get it completely finished, you can go back over it and follow the instructions. Um, we're, I'd say we're about a half an hour behind um, because of uh, that. Um, uh, I want to use really bad language, but I shouldn't. Um, so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit while I'm, um, while we're waiting. I'm going to, I, what I'm going to do at half is going to take a quick lunch at one. I'm gonna leave this running, and um, because uh, I'm scared stiff to um, to actually touch it now that um, um, that. But we will uh, meet back at two, so we'll have a little bit of a lunch. Meet back at two. Now what I'm doing here as well, I know that this has to come out. Um, like we can see, there's just a step here. Um, um, I am going to start while I'm waiting. Um, start bringing that out. The um, and if if you look at it, um, that there is very overly it's not it's not that overly and how do you know look at the template see how far it has to come out so it's, it's not as overly uh, uh, as that it is oval but it's not as overly as that so what i'm just going to start doing with the clay here um, um while i while i'm waiting for everybody to get up to speed um i'm just going to start blocking in and if I put on too much, I'll take it off again. It's Helen saying, smart setup. Uh, Helen, uh, well, we were on YouTube, now we're on um, uh, Facebook. YouTube kicked us off for some reason. Um, I am going to do a video on this, um, so you could ha uh, have a go at it later yourself. Does your clay harden as you go along? Yes, it doesn't harden, um, but uh, it cools down. And um, uh, all I'm doing, lads, now is I'm making it. This is, uh, it is, it, as I said, it, like a, an ellipse uh, on this plane. It's an ellipse on that plane, but um, it's a little bit shadow. So I'm just building it out. That's all I'm doing while while I'm waiting for people to um, uh, to catch up. It doesn't harden, but what it does is it cools down. Um, if you wanted it to harden, there's a few um, clays that you could use. You could use DAS, uh, which is an air drying clay. I don't particularly like DAS, um, to be honest, uh, because eventually it um, it erodes and um, will become nothing and dust. Um, this here, um, I heat it up, um, and uh, it is wax, so it um, softens. Does it harden? Never. Does it get hard? When it cools down, it does, but it's, it's not rock solid hard. You can still manipulate it. Um, what, with, on this scale, you could use pottery clay, and you could uh, go to a potter's and get it fired. Um, but the uh, what? Or you could use a, a polymer clay, and the polymer clay is uh, the one that I use the most. is Sculpey, and um, Sculpey. You need to put it in the oven. I think it's 150 degrees. I think, um, um, and with that, sculpey is expensive. Um, so what I would do um, is I would put a, a tin foil, tin foil ball in the center of it, and so you're le using less um, clay. So you can see, lads, that um, that this I'm building it out. Now I'm going to this template here, which is the side. This is the forest one out. Um, so you can see there, still have a bit to go. So um, I'm going to keep on going. For people who have just joined, um, if you weren't with us this morning, we started at 10 um, uh, on YouTube and it kicked us off. Um, I am going to make a video of this later um, and you can follow it if you want later. I'm going to get some more clay. Um, well, no, I'm going to get warm clay. The thing with the uh, cold clay, the process is slow. Um, the thing with the warm clay, the process is quick. And you'll see it now. Yeah, I can see loads of people going to the website. Great. Um, so, there. It's lovely and soft. 
So I'm just going to uh, sit with them. Where do you get silicone for the molds? Uh, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, uh, I'm going to do a demo on that. Anyway, um, this uh, silicone I'm going to use is what you use. Um, uh, uh, is Plat Gel 25 um, because I have it. I wouldn't normally do that. Um, what I would normally use is an RTV silicone. And um, it's slightly different than, uh, well, it's very different than the platinum. Um, based stuff uh, you've uh, a, a, um, you've heard me describe it before. Um, small catalyst, big silicone, platinum, AB is is same same volumes. Um, so I uh, would be uh, would you I would use RTV um, about sure. Uh, I prefer sure about sure A thirty five sure aim lads. What that means is um, the hardness of it, the stretchiness of it. So zero zeros very stretchy um, and I have 25 here so and um, now what's handy with this in the middle um, I'm trying to get build this out but also I want to emulate it over this side and what is handy is that is my center line I'm gonna leave it there for a wee while because people uh, so people can see um, what stage they need to get to but I can use that as my center line to um, move the clay over to the other side and um, equal it up. So the silicone would, would be an RTV that would generally use is cheaper as well. But I'm going to use platinum based 25. Um, can you use kitchen oven for Sculpey? Yes, you can use kitchen oven for Sculpey. Um, that's sort of what it's designed for. Um, we, uh, we do loads of that. Um, is the break half an hour? Because um, you finish. Uh, please, uh, uh, if we can go, uh, go on lunch now. Uh, and if the break could be half an hour, I know that that's quick, but I have to finish a half five I have family things at the fortieth, and I, 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 to be frankly honest, I, um, I forgot. Uh, well, I didn't forget it, but uh, um, when doing this stuff, um, well, I did forget, but I, I knew it was coming up, but I didn't, I didn't compute it in the calendar. Um, so what I want. I'm going to grab something quick to eat, just quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something quick to eat and I'm going to leave that there. Um, so that's what I need you to get up to. Um, I'm going to come back. Uh, I'll come back as quickly as I can and uh, um, um, I'm just going to keep on working with this a, a little while. But go for a break. Um, I'm going to leave this on and uh, the, uh, I'll, be, I'll be back, uh, come back, ready to rock and roll at 2 o'clock. And uh, we'll go on to uh, now. What we need is that that uh, t and uh, if that's finished, we will be going on to uh, th uh, this side. Now that doesn't look like a skull yet, but it will do when we start um, um, doing this profile. You can all, you can sort of see it happening there already. You can absolutely see it there. There's there's the side of a skull. Um, so um, that's cool. So afterwards, uh, I'm going to take these. Uh, well, I might leave these on for a little while. Um, just it's, it's handy um, because uh, that is the center line for for people who are beginners. Uh, that is the center line. So, uh, but once I take it off, there's still going to be a center line there. Um, 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 now it will at one stage it'll be getting in the way. Um, so I'm going to take it off, and then I'll be doing uh, this side. Um, so I'll see you back here at two o'clock. Hi, Peter. Um, so, uh, lads, uh, as I said again, I'll be back at two and we'll be finished at half five. Um, but uh, I will have this finished uh, at that stage. Um, but uh, what I will be doing is I'll make this into a video. I'll post it back up. If you haven't got it finished, don't worry. Um, uh, go back over the video and uh, you can see uh, how, how it was finished. And um, you can do it in your own time. So don't be stressed. There's not a day that should be stressed. Um, so uh, I'll see you all in at back. I'll be back here too. Right, lads, I'm back. I'm just um, going to spend a little bit of time um, doing this until two o'clock until everybody gets back. Um, again, people who are uh, just joining in, we were doing a tutorial today on how to sculpt a skull and um, with templates. And um, the, 
it was on YouTube and YouTube kicked us out for copyright issues, which I don't know what the story is there. Um, so we started at 10 o'clock today and um, we're going to be finishing at half five. Um, but I will be putting this back together again into a video and um, you can follow it later. You're welcome, Tom. Um, I hope um, I hope it's useful as well. Um, well and, uh, I apologise for the mess in the middle, but uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Well, that's the whole point, really, isn't it? Oh, excuse me. Uh, let me see if I can get rid of that thing. Lads, um, for people who are just joining, um, uh, we've been doing a tutorial um, since 10 and um, we uh, and people are going to lunch so uh, I'm just going to tip around uh, doing this. If you join and want to ask questions, go on ahead. Um, but um, uh, we're sculpting a skull uh, from templates. Um, so it's, it's a very basic way of sculpting a skull. So I'm just waiting for people to come back. I normally wouldn't keep these on, but um, for beginners, they, um, they do find it easier if it's on. They, they know what's one side and what's the other side. They find it easier. But um, once you take it off, there's still a line here. And um, I just use that really. So I'm using the template all the time to make sure that. Um, it's in alignment and I'm getting the right size out. Again, I'm more I'm, at the minute we're just concerned about the profiles. Not worried really about um, the rest of the head yet, but that will happen. Johnny, I haven't seen you in a long time. Keith, how's it going? Keith, I have to say your sculpt was stunning, absolutely stunning sculpt. I'm just waiting for people to come back. We had lunch um, and I'm waiting for people to come back from lunch. That is right to the template, and then I'm just going to fill up another thing. So it's impressive that there's so many people um, while um, watching this when 
It's so beautiful outside. Did you do a grid or template for your blood draw? No, I didn't, no. Um, and what I did was, um, what I always do is, I, um, now my son, he said what I do it. Uh, it was for one of the sculpting courses. Well, you did the 10 day, but uh, this is for a five day. Um, so I sculpted him on the five day. Um, but the, the, he said what I do it, and I said it would. So I took it from his book, and then I brought it into, um, Photoshop, changed it slightly, um, and then um, uh, printed it out at full scale. And when I printed it out at full scale, then I could use uh, just the measurements from it. Uh, I, I, it. It had a sort of profile, a side profile, but it had a really nice front profile. So that's how the blood draws, that's how he came to be. So all I'm trying to do here is build up the, um, the, the next side while everybody's coming back in. So for people who've just joined, uh, we've been sculpting the skull since uh, 10, uh, but we were on YouTube, uh, YouTube kicked us off for some reason. So we had to scramble to um, get live on some platform, and this is the one that was easiest to do. Uh, but I did, uh, I did do templates for um, for Beckett, um, but the, uh, they're actually internal templates, in the in the sense that the um, the profile it's, it's done exactly the same way. But what it is is, where is that? Um, it's it's actually um, uh, Beckett, uh, the one behind me is is done exactly like this. That's um, so I cut out uh, the skull, and didn't use the outside template, but used the inside. Um, I reduced it um, by uh, about five mil, and the I reduced the um, sorry, somebody asked me something now. I reduced the actual t uh, I, 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 let's call it the armature. I reduced it by um, about five mil, and um, so it it's it's a template in 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 a way, and then I did the same with the side. And um, that's when we were sculpting him. He literally has a cross like that in the center of him, that fella over there. And um, so this method here, you could do it for something like this, um, um, uh, or do the opposite, or the sort of the negative version of this, um, for um, or maybe actually this is the negative version. Use the positive version for doing something like that. It's a handy way of um, being able to sculpt something. So what I'm doing here is I'm building up the side. So I've built up the um, side profile. Now I'm building up the front uh, profile. So I'm just waiting for people to come back from lunch. We've got five minutes left. I just thought I'd come back in and get a little bit on. Now you can see there that there's a um, Pretty much this up here is getting right, in here it's completely not right, um, but um, it will be here. The jaw is not actually there, the jaw is here, so we'll just pull this forward a bit. And you can see that line there, there, right there is on that jaw. So I'm going to use that line. That line is that line. That's why I, that's why I have them. Just waiting, lads, for people to come back to. They had lunch. We've been here since um, uh, ten. It's 
space around the cross armature inside Beckett. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, a, a Beckett on the inside of them, the majority of them is tinfoil. Uh, it's, not, it's not solid though. Um, uh, I use, uh, I'll, I'll show you, I'll actually, I'll, show, I'll be able to show you in this miniature. Just give me one sec. So to um, with Beckett, what I did was the opposite of what I'm doing now. We, you know what I've, uh, we've spent the morning doing, and is that uh, this is the reference, and we've created a template from that. So you understand that. Um, you understand the way I've set it up. Um, is that uh, it's a side profile and a front profile. So I've cut that off the outside on Beckett. I've cut it off about five mil smaller. Um, so uh, I have a front profile and I have a side profile. So what I did looking at the X, and there is an X made out of NDF uh, in the center of him. Um, I crossed uh, it with um, uh, little pieces of wood. Um, just um, I think it was four mil um, hardboard. And just hot glued it in. And then on top of that, I just started doing, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, tinfoil. And uh, it's a real quick and easy way of building up an armature. And then uh, on top of that, uh, I started sculpting with Schwant. Um, so that's what, that's what Beckett is. So we have one minute and we're kicking back in, lads. How is Owen? Were you with us this morning, Owen? Um, we had a bit of a calamity. YouTube kicked us off. And I don't know why. So we have to come on to here. doing is getting the profile sorted how do you do it if you don't have templates well what what you need to be able to do is okay let me just get this I'm assuming you have that and if you don't have templates, what we need to do is to be able to have some sort of uh, calipers. And uh, what's useful about um, the templates is that we know that that's the center line and we can offer this up uh, to the sculpt. Um, so we, we, could, that, we can easily use that as a quick, quick reference. Apart from that, if we, do, if we haven't got a, a template, what we need to be able to do is use calipers. Now these are sculpting calipers. So um, I would again create uh, the oval shape. I would create uh, this ball here, and as uh, as you see on this one, the, uh, there is a ball. But we slice uh, si uh, down. We slice down here on the big ball, and on the small ball we slice down on that, and we fit them together. That there. Uh, once we have, to, uh, how do how do I know that the ball is wide enough? Use a clamp. Or calipers um, and um, measure it up the ball. How do uh, how do I know it's long enough? Measure it up, and um, then uh, you know that it is um, uh, deep enough and wide enough. So you're using uh, the calipers all the time. Uh, this here, um, doing it like in a way, it's it's sort of a quicker way of doing it, and um, we are going to use this in now in a minute. Um, but the, uh, it's it's sort of an easy way to to do it uh, for beginners. 
um, but we are going to use uh, the calipers. Um, but that's exactly what I, I, I'd be using is uh, like, how do I know how wide it, from the center line? And I would, I would still put the center lines down through the, uh, everything. So the center line down through here, center line uh, down through the middle. So from the center line, the edge of the, um, the, like the eye socket there is that width. Now I'm going to be doing that in a minute because I can't use templates uh, for everything, but the templates will allow me to um, block everything out. So you can see that, that is um, skull shape like. And this here, you, um, I'm building this out um, and it's getting there. But it, the other way, you're just working with, not necessarily measurements, but you, you're working with uh, calipers all, all the time. And they keep measuring and measuring and measuring and measuring. The nice thing about uh, the template is, it's all the measurements in, in it at once. You don't have to really think about it. You just offer it up and it, if it is right, it's right. Um, um, whereas you would have to use your brain um, uh, that little bit more uh, with the calipers. But we are going to be using the calipers in a minute uh, once uh, this is all blocked up and is uh, the, the same uh, uh, symmetry is, is right and it's all blocked out to the same, the same either side. And that's what I'm doing at the minute. Hope that answers your question. So we're back. Hopefully, um, hopefully people have had uh, well a quick lunch. And um, what I'm trying to do is uh, we've done the f uh, the back, uh, we've done the front, and um, I'm just going to get rid of this for a minute and just keep up with these. Uh, now what we want to do is uh, I'm going to leave these on for a wee while um, so it's easy for you to see. Um, um, what I'm going to do now is fill out the front profile and the back profile. So uh, it's this exact same process as what we did earlier on. Um, so and you can see it makes where when it's too high it makes that line. So you pair it back. dip in here and there's a bit here that I haven't uh, like I haven't even thought about uh, the sculpt with regards to some pieces yet um, but um, on and on we have this blocked out and it, it, it will begin to look blocky um, that's okay It's like it's like what we're trying to do here is it's like uh, with with doing templates. It's like as if we're working with a solid block, but we have to create that solid block first. So we're blocking it out, and and literally it's called blocking out. And um, whereas if you're working with a block of polystyrene, it already is a block. And um, so we have to go inwards. So you would create these templates, and um, you would cut them down to the template shape. Now that there, the jaw, there is, there is, the jaw, I want to do it this here, uh, so the edge of the jaw is here, so that that line is there, so I'm just going to place this in and um, you can see that it needs to be, can you see that, it needs to be filled out. Lads, when you come back online, give me a thumbs up so I know that you're back. So I can know that I can keep on trucking. How's Anne Marie? Aiden, how's it going? Nice to have you back. So all I'm doing here is I'm blocking out. I've I've done. Uh, that's a 
very bad way of showing it. Um, Sinead, you're back. Excellent. So lads, when you get back, give me a thumbs up. Just tell me you're back and we can keep on trucking. Um, so uh, the, let's call, uh, I just want to put the center line in. Where's my ruler? Um, so the center line. Center line is here. Back in class, Tom. Cool. So I put the center line back in there, and what I'm doing while uh, I, I came back a little bit early. Um, hey, Laura. We're scoping the skull today. Um, so uh, I've put offered up the template, and um, that is uh, roughly right. Roughly right. It's not. It's not fully right yet. I. I will. I am going to offer it up a bit more and um, get it right. But um, I, I'm happy here. Don't mind this here. I haven't filled it in yet. It's this pit part here I'm working on in here. And the jaw, well the jaw, it shows it that you can see it, and it's better easy from here, is back here. Um, but this is a profile. Uh, it, this, it, it's not, that is not actually where the jaw is. That's the center line there. Just get this in place. That's the center line there. You know that because we, um, where is it? Um, the other bit there. That's the whole skull. Um, so that's the center line there. So let's take that away, and we can see that the jaw goes into the center line here, right in there. The jaw goes right in there, nearly to the center line. But the, I have a big gap here, so I'm going to fill that in, so I can get the jaw in. Now the the jaw I can see um, is just above this line here, so. Um, uh, one, two, three. One, two. Sorry, one, two, three. So up here. So that line is there. So that line is there. So I know that the jaw is um, up. Well, the top of the jaw is up about there. Now, what is handy with the template is that um, th th that line there goes through the jaw. So what you can do is, and this is why I've left the, um, the the other one on, take this off and move it into that line. Now, can you see that the jaw, where, where am I showing, where am I, where am I doing? Um, you can see the jaw there is, a, a, there's a little bit missing in here. The rest was pretty cool. So that's how I would use the template to uh, figure that sort of stuff out. So I'm just going to add, yeah. So we're all back. And I'm missing a piece in here. That line there is the top of the jaw and it's it, cur it goes straight up. So I'm just going to fill this in. So that's how I'm using not just the uh, the template, but I'm using the reference as well. And this angle of the jaw, we want to get right. So, if you look at the reference template, reference, but they're all uh, they're all combined. They're all the, uh, all the one. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is I just need to um, put another line in here. And I'm going to where that line there. Um, so I want to go from this line back to that line. Fill that in. That line there has to be this line here. That makes sense to everybody. I hope it does. So that line is there, and um, and that's we already know that this line coming down here is the center line, the whole center line. You can see that there's the um, there's the template finishing there, and there's the template finishing there. So that's a halfway mark. So lay that on top. Then you can see um, uh, the line of the jaw. That that jaw comes down at that angle, which it does. It needs to fill it out just a little bit.
You scoped it outside. Oh my god. You, uh, like I'm, I, I went outside there literally. I am um, just for a wee. Um, I have a balcony out the side, and um, yeah, Tommy gone fancy. Um, but the, it's absolutely stunning, and I tell you straight after this, that's where we're going. Um, so, just want to check my stuff again. You can see there that that. Is right to the template. Now, um, what you're looking at here, let me see which one, yeah, there. Just so we know what things are and not get confused, let's take this off and it do one thing at a time. That there's the center line, and I'm happy with that um, up here, up, up around here. I'm happy with that. Take this off, put it back on. That there, but that there is the cheekbone, that there. That there on the side profile is this here. That's nowhere near this jaw. If you can, does everybody get that? Let's put that there. So that there, that point there that sticks out, because if you put that template on the scent on the line here, Yes, the uh, the skull is is, is right, um, uh, but then you're looking at where is it? Yeah, let me see. There. yeah. Then you're looking at this here. And say, well, what's that? That there actually is up here, around there. Uh, how do we know exactly where it is? We we'll just put that on there, and there's the center line. That there, there. You see the cheekbone right there where my tongue is. That's where that uh, that, that mark is. It's about here, and I haven't even thought about that yet. But don't get confused when you're doing the templates. You're going, well, I haven't filled this bit in. What's that bit? That bit is not on this line. It's up here. So that you need to be looking at your reference and figuring out what what is your reference, where is your reference, what's it, what what was it actually um, looking? What are you actually looking at? And this is where you get. If you don't do that and you just start sculpting, this is where you get, they will get confused. Now I'm just getting that line right and that line right. So I'm getting that line right, getting that line right. So that's that's my job. Now what I want to do as well is I, I just want to um, fill this in here. Now this here, as I said before, see that line there, that line there, can you see this, yeah, that line there, the, the full width the, of, of, of the skull, it's about halfway, it's about here, but then it starts tapering in, so we uh, want to start tapering it in, getting narrower, we don't want to keep going out. Just take that off for a minute. Jeez, I'd, love to, I'd love to be sculpting outside. You savage. I'd love my table probably. You wouldn't need an oven. Now you can see that there. See the way it's it's going. It's, this is the uh, widest point. That's what I said. The halfway point is the widest point. But then it starts going in. That point there is actually this point here. It's about there. Now it's, it needs to come out a little bit. But it's going, like you can see that egg shape. Can you see that egg shape? Now don't mind this side, this, this side here. You can see that egg shape. That's what we're going for. That's the next stage that we're going for. Tell you what's the story? Now I'm going to do uh, the opposite side now. I'm going to do this side. So again, I'm going to put that in and offer it up halfway, and it's pretty good. Just you can see there, it's pretty good. I'm just going to fill a little bit in. It's 
So let's give us a thumbs up if you're back. Make sure that I know that you're back. Okay, I'm starting on the um the uh, now the right hand side. I've done the uh, the profile this way. Now I'm doing the profile that way. So I've I've done this, this, that. Now I'm doing that. So it's exactly the same thing as what I already did. You know where the halfway uh, point is. Um, so use the halfway point. Oh, stop. There we go. Alright, that's the plan. Say, sure, what's the story? Now it would be nice once I get this blocked out and check my measurements um, or the proportions and um, then we can get rid of the templates and start going uh, just working on the reference. Again this is a, it's a nice method for people who I'm just going to need to put the center line in here it's a nice method for people who haven't sculpted before or are unsure of proportions um, this takes the guesswork out of all of that. Oh, and my apologies, Paul. Um, um, this is the only thing I could do at last last minute that I could get actually working. But um, I would be making a video um, of this process, and um, I will put it back out. Um, so if you've lost anything or you um, you feel that you're not going to get it done today, don't worry. Um, I'll put the video out, and you'll be able to see it in your own time and I'll put it together and you won't even know that um, we uh, got kicked off YouTube so for the people who are just coming in I do have a deck on my um, uh, uh, on my balcony so I'll be out there in a wee while it's a fantastic uh, day today so what we did just to recap just to recap what we did was we did the back of the head um, with uh, with the template then we did the front of the head with the template then um, uh, what I did was uh, I sent an email out to everybody um, um, maybe maybe I sent it the wrong thing I, I don't know it was a bit of a panic uh, trying to get this back working again so you can see that that there is uh, accurate. Don't worry about that. That is actually not there. That's the jaw. That is not the jaw. That there is uh, the cheekbone. It's out here. But then this bit down here is the jaw. Then I'm flipping this over to the other side. Then the halfway mark. And you can see that uh, that looks pretty good. It needs to come out a little bit more. Sorry, Paul. What, 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 where are you at, Paul? What, what stage are you at? How far behind are you? Let me know. Hmm. That, that's looking pretty good. So, I'm... Um, sort of happy with that shape then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just equal it up that's this side that's this side this side looks like it needs to go out a little bit now I just I'm going to keep these on they're getting in my way a little bit, um, but I'm going to keep them on just so you can see um, if the the other profiles how you um, can use the side pro the side profiles to do the front profile. Oh, two balls still separate. Have uh, the big balls in good shape. Cool. Right. So. You're not that far away, to be, to be honest. So, if you think about it, I'm just going to draw a ball, a ball in here. 
you have that big ball. Then, just get my hand out of the way, we made an, uh, a small ball, and that small ball is, uh, is here. Actually, it's probably there. And it goes in here, goes around. Jesus Christ. Can't throw a ball. So we have the big ball. And we have a small ball. It's not a very good ball. Um, but what you need to do is cut a piece off the big ball. Cut a piece off the small ball and put them together. That's what you need to do next. Now, don't worry. I am going to... Um, um, you, if you don't get it done today, don't worry. I am going to uh, make a video of this so you do it in your own pace. Um, and my apologies today. Like, that was completely out of my control. Um, and I didn't want to use uh, YouTube, oh, sorry, Facebook, um, just because uh, people were saying, you know, some people don't have Facebook, um, but it is on, I am going out live on the website as well at the minute too, for people who don't have the fa uh, have Facebook. Uh, but I will make a video. So again, what I've done is, that is overly, but the front section, the frontal lobe, is narrower so I, I i want to bring it in so that's what i'm doing here is bring it in i need to clip it's getting warm in here lads So if anybody, any questions so far? It doesn't begin to look like a skull straight away. Well, it does from that profile. And then it will from that profile. You can, you can see the jawline now. Um, and you can see um, uh, the, the back of the skull. But there's not the frontal lobe bit, I haven't done that yet. We'll have to get that in next after we've done this side. I just want I want to spend a, a bit of time making sure it's all equal. It's the jaw now that doesn't look great, so we're going. To, I'm going to fix that. Now there is a trick with the jaw. I'm just going to describe. I'm going to do this bit, and then I'll show you what I've done. With the jaw, the jaw is. You can see it's on the halfway point, which is uh, this is the halfway point. Um, but. Let's say that the uh, that say where it corners around this pit here, the actual corner of the um, the uh, jaw is there. That line is that line. So I can uh, move that forward, and then I know where that point is in space and it's see it's right okay, let me look showing there it's right back there right back there that's where that point of the jaw is and it's not filled in yet so that's let me see it's there yeah it's not that far back cool so i'm going to fill that in Enough. 
keep forgetting lads to um, the camera above my head. So I want that. So if anybody is tuning in, my apologies uh, for this morning. Um, we were supposed to be on YouTube, but it kicked us off. And then everybody was scrambling, trying to find out or figure out where it was, and I was trying to tell everybody. And obviously, you didn't get to tell everybody. Um, put that there. Um, I think you're gonna have to tell me where you're at, but I think I'm ready to take these templates off in a minute. Can you tell me what you where where what level you are at, lads? Can you tell me that? Is everybody still with me? What, where are you at? Clean this up a bit. Get a bit messy. Just fill this in a little bit. So I'm um, happy enough with. Um, no, one sec. Haven't got to the jaw yet, but not far from it. Cool. Uh, yep, yeah, roughly there. Cool. Um, so we should be able to get to a stage that we're taking these off. These here. So you can see that that's okay. This, don't worry about this. This, uh, this isn't anatomically anything yet. Um, but we're getting, like, that's a nice shape there. Um, and and it, ha it has to be. It just has to be because it is... Um, it's to the template. So I'm going to start taking uh, the template off. Template off. And then what we're going to be doing is um, looking at reference. Now I'm going to keep the, uh, the templates there for, uh, so that I can use them if I want to use them. The frontal one I'll, I'll definitely be using. Just want to get these up. Is everybody all right? Now we should have uh, two templates. Oh, sorry, uh, two pr uh, references. Um, the front reference and the side reference. So what I want to be able to do is I'm going to put in center lines. That jaw is a little bit off, so I'm going to rectify that. And I'm going to, it'll be cut into a little bit until I can so just make sure everything's centered. And then tee off it. And I just want to make sure that it is. Um, where is it? There it is. To get the um, the lines in and get uh, the actual lines in the right place, the template's really useful for that. And then I go around and then. So that should be. I'm going to smooth these out a bit. What I'm going to start with, I think, is 
the the frontal lobe um, and let's get that shape in there So what I want to do is, um, that there is a dip, you can see the shadow on it, there, it is a dip, it is right there, right there. This here, so measure it, you could me uh, I'm going to measure it from the centre, I'm going to get this right here and it will go out about that far there. If you can't do that, if you haven't got one of them, do this. Um, so use your uh, tool and use your finger, uh, your nail, go to the center, bring it up, and then mark it. Now that's very far back. Um, if you, uh, you can see how far back it is there. That's what I'm trying to get, is this bone here. You can see how far it's back there, it's not that far back. Whereas uh, this is very far back, so I just need to pull it out a bit. And I'm going. What I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other side. So a little bit of a, um, a ball. And if you're not sure where you are at, put that on. And look at the reference. This line here, can you see that line there, is that line there, so let's put that in, let's put this line in, and let's put this line in. Let's put that line in. And that line's gonna be difficult to get in um, because of um, the contour of the skull itself. But you can get it roughly in. Then go back to reference. And we're looking at this here. That's, he uh, give me two. So we are looking at coming right out here. See this here, that line there. So top one, one, two, two, three, three. So that's three, that's two, two, three, three, two. Then this here is there. That's where it is. That has to come out. It's starting to look like a skull. <laughs> I'm delighted, <laughs> Jenny Mac. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't think we'd get this far, lads. Um, after today, and we're, let these lines. We're going to keep putting these lines back in. So I'm going to block it out and um, get this shape in here and get that shape uh, here. If, that's if you can get that in there, it'll really start looking like a skull. And let's just block it out. Sometimes you need three hands sculpting. Yeah, I'd say the sun is off and you're, you're clear, all right. And where's the side? Now this here, that there, uh, you can see that it is on that line there. You can see that, that line there is just on the nose, which is that line there. So we can draw that in if you want it. There, this line here. And So these these lines that's why we've done these lines so it's it's like 
Uh, I used to do murals when I was uh, a kid, uh, just make money, and just the way I did it. So, that there box is that box there. So, um, I want to put this bone here, right there. So, I'm going to put a little sausage. See that there, that line is there. This here goes back. So I'm gonna put a line in there as well. I'm just putting lines in for a minute as to build it up. Then I, I will I will build up where else I need to go. So that corner there is there. This here is there and this here is there that's probably a bit high and then we want that pretty much it goes down at, uh, uh, let me twist it a bit it goes down at an angle a little bit of an angle and this here sort of swoops around and then remember i was saying about that well, what did i call it the t temporal line the temporal line this line here this line, this line, yeah, there. So, we build this up, it'll start looking like a skull. Now, it look, and, and the way I would uh, think about this, because uh, people that get, find it hard to do, um, is think of it as if it's drawing. Uh, don't think of it as sculpting. Sculpt that, uh, draw that line in with clay. Don't think about it three dimensionally, think about it 2D. And then um, look at it different from thinking. I know it's a funny way of looking at it, um, but the, um, uh, look at it from different angles, and then it starts becoming uh, three dimensional. You, you will see that. Now, what I'm going to do, so I'll just straighten that line out is um, I'm going to put this uh, piece in here just as I said I'm just going to draw it in um, so it goes across like that and then swoops down like that this here is way too high I'm going to take it out completely out completely out and um, I can still go below that line a bit there. Cool. This I'm going to swoop it around and swoop it around. And this protrudes out a, a good bit, so I'm going to swoop that down. And like you can see, there's the. Uh, now we, ha we, we haven't looked at the front yet. When we look at the front, we'll be changing things again. But you can see the distance from, let's say, here to here. It's a lot. Um, so we, we will be actually going in here an awful lot. And when you start doing things like that, it's then that it starts actually looking like a skull. Now this bit here is not really pronounced. I'm going to pronounce it more. A little bit of a sausage. I'm hoping everybody can see that. Let 
this. See this bone here, this bone here, this bone here. I'm just going to build that up a little bit more, and then I'm going to bring it into the temporal, temporal line. Bring it in there. There's a person who made beautiful skulls, and um, weren't fully, fully, fully anatomically uh, correct, but they were. Um, uh, beautiful all the same and it was Ray Harryhausen and um, that, that skull scene um, is just one of my favorites so what I'm gonna swoop it around a bit and I want to get that line the top line one uh, well, I mean I'm, in, I'm actually gonna move over a little bit because I'm hiding myself so one one two two three three just three so that there see it there you can see it there this here throw it in one two three so it's not there actually that's two one Two, three, one, two, three. So below it, about here. That line. Cool. And you can see this here, there. Maybe just scoot that out a bit. Bit. I'm just going to put a ball in, right, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. Here, it's just above the nose. It's just that's the nose there. That uh, that line there. It's just above the nose. So this here is um is the brow. So I'm gonna start putting the brow in. The nose. You find that I haven't even touched the nose yet. Build up this. I'm actually going to take this out of here, this bit here. Um, I and um, I have all my lines. If I need my lines again, I will go back in and uh, redo my. I can easily take this in and out, but it's actually getting in my way. Um, so um, I want to actually do it like that. So what I want to do is get that there. Is this here? So it is there. So let's scoop that out. So see that there, that line there. Let's actually take that take that out as well. So um, so we can actually see what we're doing. So that line there, there, that line there, there. Then let's just draw in um, the that shape. Actually, it's like that. And then we can take that out. Take that out. And this box here. 
price here and here and um, that there it would be lovely to get that out Can you see that? And this bone here, straight in. This here goes um, a bit of an angle. Let's we'll get this in over here. Get that in there. Get that around. And I've probably made these holes a little bit too deep. But I can fix that. That swoop around on that line. Let's get that. Now this bit here, I haven't actually put in. I'm just going to add that now. That angle. Put that angle in. Excuse the noise in the background. I think they're making smoothies. And why wouldn't you be? I need to get that bit on there, this bit here. Uh, the, the, oh, the nose, the profile, this bit here. Um, that profile, yeah, that will take a while. But you can you can see um, um, that, uh, like, if you offer that up and uh, um, um, and pack it in uh, uh, along the edges like I did. It takes a wee while, um, but it will it will work. It will work. Now see this here. That there is is the nose. That ridge, which is this one. There, right there. This here is like this. Uh, so lads, if you're getting frustrated uh, and you're feeling uh, this is not working for me, um, that's normal, completely normal. Um, like it's it's part of the part of the process is, is that feeling like that sometimes. Um, let me get another one. Yeah. Um, let's get this. You have to go bit by bit by bit by bit, and this here is there. But look how far back it is. It's right back here, and uh, that how far that that is away from the. So there's an actually in here is that lump. That's not there at, at all. And when you start doing that, you can actually see this cheekbone come out. And then you can see these teeth from in here come sliding out, so that needs to come in a bit. There. Don't worry about the teeth. Yes, we're just going to block them in. Templates off. Excellent. Templates get in the way um, uh, after a wee while. Um, and I know what, uh, what, and hopping around a bit, what I'm trying to do is get um, uh, this jaw and uh, it is, I'm going to push that in a bit and then I'm going to push 
that a bit and then I'm going to push that a bit. Sometimes with the tools, the base tools are these. Now, see this here? I haven't, I haven't put that in yet. Now when I put it in, it's going to give me that lovely eye socket there. So let's put that in. Are we able to follow this, lads, or um, is it is it completely frustrating? Because I'd I'd like to know. In here. some lines back in and if you can't put the lines back in put your template back on like that so lines lines so I want to get that line in and um, get this line in here get this line in here here And you can see there, just there, look, I go down a little bit before, so I haven't put enough on, or I, when I, I, I took a bit off it, and I think I took too much off it. Come on, get away. Able to follow, just trying to be patient. With a little judgment of pros, yeah, like you have to be patient, lads. Yeah, um, um, slow and steady that's the way I would look at this. And um, so don't be harsh now. That there, what I want to do is see that there on is on that line, so it's that line there, so it can go to that line. So I'm gonna, but this here isn't it's very thin there, so it's right there. So what I want to do is push that back. I'm going to use my finger on my thumb. And can you see that lovely socket coming? Lovely jubbly. No. So, go back again. If you get confused, just go one, two, three. One, two, Three. One, two, three. See, it should be. See, my socket is too big. It should be smaller. It should be a lot smaller. I knew it was too big. Um, so I'm just put, going to put a little sausage in there and close that up a bit. Always trust the reference. Always trust the reference. You might not want to trust the reference, um, and you um, you say, "Oh no, that looks cool." You go off on one and then it doesn't look right at all. And trust the reference. Now you can see this here. Is there. And that's going back. This here. Actually, see that there, right there. Should be here. So I need another sausage just to put that. Is everybody all right? Give me a thumbs up, lads. Sometimes doing this sort of stuff, you're going. Is everybody gone? Am I doing this myself? I am going 
Am I going fast? No, I'm not. I'm, 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 try, I'm trying not to go fast so um, that you will... Um, you have time to get yours rocking. See the way there's a dip in there? I don't want that. And you can see swooping around there, you get that nice temperate line. But that there looks like there's a dip. I want to do that there. You're cool. Are you in? Are you in your? Are you in your shed? Uh, in a, if you are, are you not going to die of the heat? You can see that lovely swoop around. Nice. And then. This bit here, you can see it's going in. It actually goes and do that. It goes, look, it goes out. So we just need to go out and it, it's as if there's a point there, but it's not a point, it's that, it's that. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add a sausage to that. Get in there, I think I'm a few steps behind because I had, you had to, <laughs> you had to fight a wasp. Oh my God. I'm just going to build that bit out. Can you see how useful those lines are now? Um, and um, like, I'm not lost in the sculpt. A lot of people, that's the frustration, to get lost in the sculpt, and um, and nothing is going right for them. There is no foundation. It's just gone like an all over the place. And um, just going to fill in here, and get that nice swoop, because you can see there's a gap there. I got the window door open um, on the crosswind. Good, so it's nice and comfortable. So at the minute what I'm doing is little balls, little sausages, and that there, what I want to do is get that. And I, I want to get that line back in, which is there, going down through there, down through there, and it's that, there this that's what I'm trying to get in and have a nice swoop around Whoa. and this is not normally how I would sculpt leads um I would um I actually took too much out of it didn't I? um you know I'd be moving it around and keep it comfortable but I, I need you to see it so I'm just gonna put that in I think it took too much off No, you. Uh, I. Uh, sometimes people look at me uh, when I'm well, uh, when I'm looking at their sculpts. Um, I will come across, and uh, it's a little bit unfair. Um, but um, I will come across, and I look at the sculpt, and I can see there's something wrong. Um, uh, there's a reason why I can see there's something wrong. Um, well, I've, I've been doing it a while, so I sort of know what I sort of know what I'm looking for. Um, but also, I, I'm fresh. Um, so you. Um, You've been doing and looking at this, oh, that, that needs to go down. Um, you can, I can look at their scopes and say, you know, you'd be better, good, great if you did this or did that, and it can get very stress, frustrating when when that happens because you're going, geez, I'm scoping this for ages, and this dude comes in, and within five minutes he says, no, do this, do this, and do this, and that can look like I know what I'm, I'm doing. It's not really that. What it is, um, that, um, it's an exter somebody externally looking at something, and uh, there. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just just a different point of view. Can 
Can everybody see this happening? Now what I hope it, it, it what I hope is not happening is that um you are looking at this and it's a little bit of um that needs to come down needs it it's it's like smoke and mirrors that you're looking at magic. Now how the feckin' hell is that happening? Um It'll happen for you. Just keep on trucking. This here swoops in, um, um, so it actually, if you look at it there. It, it's actually it's I've taken too much off. It needs to come out of it. And then it swoops in a bit. This here, I'm going to get that line there. Let's do that at the minute. Just clean up a bit. And the teeth. Well, this looks flat. We actually go around. Now there's a big gap in there, right there, that white bit. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm going to go in, but not that much. There's a swoop in here, and there's a ridge here. It's broken. And it's a good tool too. I know I'm very quiet, lads. I'm in the in very focused here. Uh, my daughter Rose is with me. She's 13. We're having fun, uh, but still playing catch up. Um, you missed that's don't worry about that um uh, as i said like actually the most more important no that's i'm just seeing that swoop in there the most important thing is that you're having fun like that well that that's important to me um that well that's what i that's what i wanted uh, with this was that people would actually have some fun um and if you feel you're behind, do not worry about it. I will, I will, and I promise, I will make a video and um, go over the video. And pick up where you left off or continue. I think that's gone up a little bit deep in here. I know, I, I, I want a nice tempered line, but Jesus, that's that's well in. And I think I have to swoop that in a little bit there. This bit here, see that bit there? In there, swoop it out a bit. Bit by bit.
it will begin to look like a skull. I promise. But what I wouldn't say is going to look like a skull from the very beginning. Let me get this this bit here. I go back to that. Just get that. It's just that sometimes I hop from one thing to another. Um, I see things and I'm going, oh no, do that, get that, get that done. And that, that would work, that would make it look nicer. Now, these teeth, that, that is the nose, and the nose swoops around, that's this bit here loops around and down and then the teeth you can just see it there you go out 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 but it also when it goes out goes in at the top and that exposes the ridge of that nose can you see it there there we go let's just clean this up a little bit Now, for me, if I only get, today, I'm going slow lads, because I think it's important that I, I do go slow, so that everybody, everybody can see, but like, if I get, only get this side done today, will I be happy? Is it right? Is it proportional? That's what I'm, uh, I, I'm going for, so, that looks like. Now, I have to say, um, that took me back a little bit, um, losing you all, um, so I'm, I'm probably not as, f well, I'm not going fast anyway, but uh, we did we did lose, I think, about half an hour there, which is uh, very unfortunate. And I'm just going to fill this in, because it goes in, but it doesn't, it goes around. I'm going to fill that bit. And like, okay, you could be looking at me and going, how the fucking hell is that happening? I was doing the same thing, um, uh, looking at uh, people who sculpted my, uh, myself and I'm going, um, that's just like, that's fucking nuts. How, how, can that, how can he just put a yoke in there and it starts looking like something, like it's not a blob anymore. Um, uh, that's where you have to start, is looking at people sculpting. And what, I, what, I th what it's mad when, when you're sculpting. Um, and this happened, happened to me a lot when I'm doing it in college. Just to, um, everybody was quiet, and um, but the, the, they are the, they're fully attentive. Um, it's just a, it's there's something very meditative about watching somebody um, sculpt, and yeah, you need to watch some uh, you need to watch people sculpt to um, to learn how to sculpt. You need to do it as well. So don't be beating yourself up if it's not working yet. It will. Now I have an advantage over ye. Well, I've been sculpting a wee while, um, but I also have a skull in front of me, so I can see how far the, um, that thing goes back. And what's bizarre is what you can't see. Well, you can see it on the reference. Um, it <laughs> there. It's like a triangle, and it goes in about that far there. Swoop, 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 swoop. It's like a triangle. And, um, you might even get the um, there's lines in there for you know, like I think it's um, for ducks or sinuses. I'm I'm not sure. I, th I think it, oh your tear ducts possibly. Um, but it goes in a fair, fair way. Just so trying to get there, and that will make it look that a bit deeper.
Hey, Greg. Have to say, Greg, uh, uh, it uh, um, what you're doing is uh, well. It's very special. Um, have to say, uh, a bit of people don't know uh, Greg Keeley. Uh, Greg Keeley's a um, uh, he's a savage modern maker, but the, um, he's doing uh, fundraising, GoFundMe to create um, um, face shields, 3D printed face shields um, for for uh, frontline defence, and um, so. Go on to his uh, Facebook and give him a shout out and actually give him some bloody money. He's doing a great, fantastic, unbelievable job. What, what has amazed me about this whole thing is um, what people have ended up doing um, to actually put your faith back into humanity. That people are in, you know, nobody's making money here. Look, Greg's not making money. I'm not making money. And and there's loads of people um just doing stuff. My wife she does yoga every week and um actually twice a week, and um the lady does it in Zoom doesn't want any money wants it to go to charity. It's, it's just unbelievable what this is brought out in people. It's fantastic. Yeah. This there's a little ridge and probably I don't know can you feel it right there, in between your um. Right here, uh, underneath, uh, is that your septum? Is that your septum? I think it is. Um, uh, right on there, you can actually feel it. It's a bit sore, actually. Um, uh, what it is, uh, what's attached to that, it's in here. There's a cartilage in there that goes out to the front. But then, in here, um, you can just about feel it. That's the bit, right right there, yeah. Um, um, that's, the, that's the bone, you can see that, it's right there. But there's a bit out here of what a cartilage. Then that sharp little bit is, uh, uh, just about here, just about there. So it has this. You have to swoop it in to get it sharp. And we did it for that as well. Um, uh, um, uh, I always have a sculpting have marks all over me because. I want to clean out my scope, uh, sculpting tool, and I'm holding it, and I'm going. Well, how do I do this? And um, I uh, use my clothes. Now what is useful, and there's a few people who are doing this do have them, is um, like the reference I've given you, uh, you know, it's well, it's free, it's cheap, um, uh, it's only one dimensional. Um, I've tried to make it as, as useful uh, um, as I can, but you can't replace an actual skull. Now there's a, it's a, there's a bally shape here, and I, I think I might have taken, no I haven't actually, um, I'm just going to try and get that shape a ball in there, I think if I pare down a little bit I would get it. I wish I had the video la I had this video last year, the skull in my final project would have looked way better. Well we didn't have coronavirus last year. No, and there's a bit where it's right there is not as pronounced as it should be. I'm just going to put a little bit of clay in. Now, lads, if you don't get any tools at all other than these tools, the campers, this is a camp, another camper, um, they're the best. I love them, absolutely love them, and they're, and they're cheap. Well, in the states, if anybody's in the states, and um, these are cheap. That there's about two fifty dollars. Um, so, um, get loads of them. Tell me you're going, and uh, give you some money.
Yeah. So I think I've taken too much off that. Um, or have I? Or maybe I need to win. Yeah. There we go. It might be useful to be able to see this knobby bit here and that there. So I'm going to stick that in. So what I will do, lads, is I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm actually happy out here doing this. Um, um I'm gonna keep on uh, doing this. There's, I don't think there's any point in me going over to the other side quite yet. I think everybody's happy out just doing what they're doing. Uh, would I be right in that, or is there anything anybody wants me to go over? Um, tell me. I will uh, I will do it. And um, let me reiterate again. How thankful I am that you're uh, I've turned up today I know everybody is busy I know everybody has um, lots of things to do and um, but if you didn't turn up well I'd be here on my own um, and it's great that there are people doing this out there so I'm very thankful this in a bit yeah. now if you're going to do something um, and you want like this here I've given you everything and um, on a plate um, but if you're going to say you know start and say I want to do this and uh, this is right so how do you do that like how do you start well you need reference you need good reference you need um uh, a three quarter ideally um you need a um frontal you need a profile and um as many other shots like uh, as you can um, like uh, above below and they're useful when you get when you get into that stage um but the what I find very useful is to um, can you explain how to do the T please? Yeah, no worries. Um, so um, we all know. Oh yeah, let me explain um, reference first. I bring it into uh, Photoshop, and um, I wh whatever scale I want to go to, I, my artboard, I make it that scale. Um, um, so the sheet of paper that I'm working on, um, I make it, I make it that scale, and I bring in everything in. I make a grid in it, and I um, create layers. I figure out one that's actually really good, and then I um, uh, usually if I have a frontal and side, the side is a different size than the frontal because it's different photographs. So I up and down the sizes, um, um, but I put them on layers so I can see one layer on top of the other and I uh, take down the opacity of the top layer so I can see the bottom layer. Um, so um, I will um, uh, I would have the frontal here and then I have this side on it and then I know where the jaw is, I know where the top of the head is. So I up and down the size of the head um, until um, it is this, uh, they're, they're both the right size and, um, and then grid it up. Um, and all the grids are this, uh, equal. It's exactly what I did with this. And uh, you could do that with anybody, anybody, or anything. Now, teeth. So, if you th uh, think about it, the, uh, the, uh, the highest point is here. Even, uh, you can see it on this, the highest point is there. So that's the front, that's your front two teeth. So that's the front, 
and you can see that um, it actually it actually goes in a little bit more so I'm going to put it in a little bit more see that line there is created that there is creating this little ridge that little ridge around the eye, uh, the eye around the nose So what I want to do is I want to start, this is the high point, can you see that, this is the high point, this is the high point here, that was how I feel. I want to swoop it around, now you look, it's not just swooping anywhere, it's coming around, and see there, look, there, there, and it's pointing a little bit outwards, so I'm going to swoop it around, I'm going to swoop it around even a little bit more than I have done. Now, I want also to um, maybe work on the teeth a little bit since you asked. Nice to see them. Nice to see some gums as well. So, get measurements. So, that line there is that line there. We know that. So, we draw that in. This line here is this line here. Draw it in. This is a brilliant thing about this, is that um, and and with clay in general, you just if you need a line, draw a line. Just draw it in, and um, you should always always be doing this so that it keeps. Um, uh, even if you're not doing the grid, if you're doing the grid, you have to. Uh, what I'm doing now, you have to um, do the. Um, Keep on putting in the lines so you can see the lines. Um, but if you are uh, not using the grid, make sure you have a center line. Make sure you have a center line. So you'll have that T so you know that um, things are equal. Now, can you see that line? That line there is the grid. That's the line there. Can you see that it swoops up at an angle? Can you see that it swoops up at an angle? So it's a little bit of an angle. A little bit of an angle. You can see that. <coughs> and it goes back. See there? No, it's actually not it's good that I, I actually did this. There, that tooth there. No, it's back here. So I have to take a little bit out of here. I'm taking my lines out, I put them back in. Carolina, how's it going? Um, so uh, again, you can see I'll just put the line back in. There. There. This here. See that there? Look at that. There. So it's right. So you can see, you can see, you can see that. That line. Throw this in again. That line here. This line here. The teeth. Throw it in. There, this line here, yeah I'd say that's pretty cool, and that there, just want to check this, hmm, it's looking pretty good, so let's do some teeth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, just block them in. So I'm going to do the front teeth. So this, uh, and you can see from here, uh, let's go with that line's easier because it's there. There. Up, there. I'm going to mark in the, uh, the tooth. So the tooth is about there. And then from there up is the gum. From here up. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. Um, because it's out of focus for me because I'm blind. Um, so the 
toad is there. And now I'm going to actually put in, let's work with the first toad. So I literally draw it in, draw it in. Don't think about it too much, just actually get it in there. And um, So I'm going to start with the front tooth and with the actual tool I'm going to shape it I'm using the actual tool to help me shape it now, what I need now is what I, uh, Shona, she's on here. She gave me a gift last year. Oh, was, was, the, was it last year? Yeah. Um, of a magnifying glass with a light on it. And um, doing this sort of stuff, you sort of need something like that. Now, this is where you, you could play with this. There's a sort of um, incisor. You could play with this if you wanted and start, you know, giving them a little bit of character, um, have a buck tooth or um, have a more of a creaturey vibe. Uh, you have an generally you have an overbite. You can see the um, teeth forming there. And then you can see these little bits of sort of flesh in between the teeth, which is your gums. Um, play around with those teeth a bit. Then you get the gum, and um, there's a little valley here. And why that? Why is that there? Now it is important, I'll show you something actually. Um, these are false teeth. And um, they're my teeth. So I think it's these tops or bottoms, I think they're my bottoms. I can't remember, I'll take them off in a minute. Um, uh, but um, these, uh, they're not fully finished painted. But um, the root of a tooth, uh, so you have the tooth. And then you have the gum, and the root goes underneath the gum. So you'll have this nice bit of a ridge um, here, a rounded ridge here. You have a valley here, and a valley here. The reason why it's raised here, because it's the actual root of the tooth. Um, so, um, we'll play with them in a, uh, uh, in a wee, wee while longer. But that there is the valley I'm talking about. That there is the bump and that's the tooth and that's the root. So let's just create that. Um, let's and that root goes up fairly fairly high and but it's see that there? Swoops back a bit. In between the teeth is a valley. And you might actually want to change tools for this. You could use something like this. Or I actually found was and that might actually work very well. Can I find it? Yeah. This here is an orange stick for cuticles. It's for face 
station Raiders of the Lost Ark what's that? oh this yeah 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 um, no, I am actually going to finish this um, toot oh toot toot in the head um, I am going to finish this skull if it's, if it's, if it's not finished today I'm not going to berate myself um, but um, um, because I want to actually use it to do a mould You can see those valleys go into here. And that cuticle stick, I find it brilliant. Um, you could use a cocktail stick. Uh, you could use a you cut it the teeth I'll put them in in a minute oh sorry these teeth or um, my teeth they're the teeth I'll put them in in a minute anyway Now what, what I am missing a bit lads is, uh, what I'm used to doing is when I do this, I don't know if you're finding it, if you're a little bit lost, what's, what's nice is that I can go around the class and I can literally jump in with you and start sculpting with you. And um, this is a bit, it's not like what I usually do. Um, but in Corona, it's the only way. They are, yeah, my bottom teeth. So these here, these are, uh, I do these with um, makeup and IADT. So that is my teeth. So that's what it turns out like. It's a bit hard to take off with one hand. So, there you go. Um, I have a little bit of a waxy mouth now. Is, is this helping the teeth, um, um, me doing this? Is, is that actually helping you? Now the other, uh, 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 where is it? the other one I did, this one, I didn't really spend as much time as I am now um, on the details. I really just blocked it out. Um, but I think it's nice to, um, to put the time into this so you get to see it move from a block into sculpt. Valley, Ridge, Valley, Ridge, Valley. Hi James, uh, sculpting skulls today. And for anybody that's joined in and said, I thought he was supposed to be on YouTube doing this. I was on YouTube, it was all set up, we were happy out. I think 
I don't know, for about two or three hours and um, the, uh, it kicked us off and would not let us back on. Um, it wasn't very nice about it either. So we had to wrap everything up and everybody, uh, my phone lads was dinging because I know he's wanted back. Um, it was dinging all over the place. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Can't get on. Um, so eventually we were able to get back onto Dell Facebook. Sometimes it feels that you're just pushing clay around. <laughs> you are really, um, but sometimes you, it does feel like that's all you're doing. I'm gonna overlap it to it too. Yeah, this is the, the teeth are fun because you could. Um, um, now I'm gonna uh, uh, try and put a little bit of a uh, where is it there that that bit there here that if you look like uh, you know Jack Skeleton. Um, that's what makes that's what gives him his character. I'm just gonna. Well, I just see. Sometimes I see things, lads, and um, like it's a rules. Um, well, some t some people might say so. Um, and might be given out to me, but sometimes I see things when I'm sculpting. I'm going, oh, that'd be nice to do that. Uh, do it. Um, just do it. There's no. In my book, there's no. Um, humongous rules to it. If it feels right. You must be right. You know what? I'd say ye lot and me are gonna be wrecked tonight because I, I, I can only imagine the amount of concentration that's going on. Uh, in people's homes. Now, yeah, so lots of people say, so I can't sculpt because I have no tools. Cuticle stick. And that's what I've been using for ages and it's working out lovely. Actually, I, I, I used to work in RT um, years and years ago for about, what, three years solid? Well, not solid, but um, uh, doing um, the more bags, and we would be sitting on set. And anybody that works in films can appreciate this. You're sitting on set for ages, um, waiting for something to happen, um, or um, making sure nothing happens or doesn't. You know, that's not uh, you know, everything's supposed to go tickety boo. Um, so there's a lot of downtime or a lot of waiting time. Let's say. Um, so what I used to do was, with a hat pin, sculpt a milliput, and then at the end of the gig, I would give everybody a little character that I'd sculpted as a present, because I had bucket loads of them. Like doing something small, don't be um, thinking that it's easy. It's not. It's not easy doing something this small um, because the detail is so small. And you have to, you know, you have to keep on it. Uh, yeah, the mode is a challenge, um, but just remember that it starts here at the front. Use the, uh, the reference to the, uh, and the template. So that's the highest point. That's the highest point, and uh, you can see that. Um, it swoops around and in, it swoops around and in, round and in, and get that line in there. Um, maybe I could go up a little bit with it. Get this line in here. Get this line in here. Get this line in here, and then um, and you can see, see this, see that tooth there. It's raised up that a little bit more. That one is the uh, which one is it? Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I, 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 that's when I overlap. Maybe we actually put a little bit in. Bring it down. And make it 
is a ridge. I think a ridge can do it was. And uh, lads, uh, challenging. Yeah, it's a good word. If if everybody, um, w uh, if it, like if it was easy, everybody would do it. Um, I suppose you're all here because you want to learn how to do it. Or learn a new skill. It it is a challenge. So don't be, and it is not easy. So don't be going nuts on yourself. Now, there's a few things I might not get to, um, but we'll talk about it, is that the smooth things out, like this detail, what's very useful is a, a small brush. I might do that in a minute. Um, how far in does that tiny bit go just to the side of the eye? That bit there? What do you mean? This bit here. It actually should be swooping about a bit. And to answer your question, I'm going to answer it with the reference. You can see what I'm doing. See that? Is that bit that you're talking about there? That little bit there? Is it? No, the outside, oh here, uh, here, in here. And, uh, well, actually, the, uh, remember I said I've gone in too far. I'm going to fix that now, and then I'll tell you um, what's, uh, what it is. I, mean, I, I have gone in a bit too far. Not, not too, too much, but just a bit. And then I'll tell you. Now, lads, what I would love to do, and um, don't know if we'll be able to, um, well, I'm not going to be able to do it today, um, but what I'd love to do is, uh, I want to see your sculpts. And um, now, uh, some people probably went, oh my God, there's no way I'm going to want anybody to see my sculpt. And I actually do, I, I want to see your sculpt. Um, and um, uh, it doesn't matter how uh, uh, bad or good you think it is, uh, you should be shown, because like, how many hours have we spent on this thing? So it's it's long enough that we um, that it deserves a showing. So what I was going to do, um, I'm not forgetting Aiden. I just want to get something done. Um, what I wanted to do is set up a page on the website where Sculpt the Skull is, and um, that needs to be filled. Um, and uh, you can upload the photograph, and we can all see them. That's the one. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what that is now in one sec. I just need to fill it out because I did go too far in. Now, see this bit here. That's the bit I'm working on, and then that's the bit Aiden's talking about in there. Goes in a fair bit then. Um, just give you a measurement now. So, if I'm using my tool, um, um, now the, the, that there I ha is solid, it actually will go down right in and um it uh, it uh, it that bit there the, the the cheekbone behind the cheekbone behind here it goes right down to your jaw so the uh, uh, on a skull there is, there is nothing there or it's 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 hollow So to answer your question, it's actually hollow. But how far am I going to go in? I'm going to tell you. Actually use that. So from there in. Now 
nine mil, believe it or not. But that's how far I'm going in. It uh, it actually goes uh, straight through to the jaw, top of the jaw. Now I'd be the very one to be giving out to somebody if their desk was that untidy. Doopy doopy do. You'd love feedback on your skull. Well, let's do it. I have no problem giving feedback. Jesus, that's my job. Um, I think it's important. Um, we finished up our first years and uh, an IADT, and I think it's important that if somebody spends a good length of time on something, that it, it deserves a showing. So I'm not too sure how to do that yet. Um, I think uh, I think I know. I have to um, yeah, work it out. And once I do, I'll let everybody know. I'll just send you all an email. Now that I have your emails, um, send you all an email and you can bang it up and we can all have a look. This here. I like the ridge, that ridge, but if you look there, it goes straight through, but I'm not going to go straight through, because ultimately what I want to do is mold this later, and if I go straight through, I have created an undercut, just in here, I've created an undercut, and a, um, that's, uh, that will create, create problems for me later on uh, on the molding process, so I'm not going straight through. And when I said in um, Aiden was talking about here, how far does that go in? That there and that there goes straight through. Um, so that the bone, it goes right through it. So, is there anybody out there who feels at this time? Oh, well, <laughs> what was in my head was giving up. No, um, is there anybody out there um, that feels that their skull is not coming into a shape for skull? Or does it generally look like a skull? I'm not looking for perfection, I'm just looking to ask as everybody is getting to a stage that it looks like a skull. Now, I'm just, just uh, and what's nice about this is you, you can see this side, and I spent a lot of time on it. Um, look at that side. That's the roughness that we had, and it doesn't have that uh, that bone there. So once I start on the opposite side, I have all this as reference now that I can bang across. And um, the other option is that I do it at the same time, but uh, um, I I don't think I'd have enough time to actually do that and talk you through it at the same time. But all we're doing is mirror image. Well, I say all we're doing is a mirror image. It, it's not. It's, it's not as simple as that. I know. Symmetry. Not easy. Now, I haven't used any other tool. Well, I've used those tools and an orange stick. Um, um, to sculpt. Uh, one tool that uh, I do like using is I want to show you it now. Does anybody else? Is everybody else want me to actually go over something? I'm just I'm just tipping away here, um, jumping from one thing to another um, at my pleasure. But uh, is there anything that anybody is going? Oh Jesus! That, that, I don't know what the feck. And you see these lines here. It'd be nice to get into.
So again, for people, uh, I, I, again, lads, I apologise for today. That wasn't expected, um, and it sort of did interrupt people in trying to find me back, and um, I was trying to find people as well. Um, what a pain in the backside. But we're back together again now. So there's another tool I'm going to use. I wouldn't use it yet, but uh, um, normally, but I think we should just hop into it. There's a few people out there who actually might have them. If I can find it. So you would have saw, so is that, is that proper English? Um, Still the nose is wrecking me buzz. Now when you say the nose is wrecking your buzz, what do you mean? Is it that you're trying to get this profile done? Um, or what stage are, uh, is it? Now, um, the, if you saw the, the loop tools that I made, this is one of them. And um, what I, when I'm trying to get something nice and rounded, um, that's, what, that's the tool I'd be going for, is that one. And you can see that um, you see highlights and you see shadows. Shadows is um, shadows is. Let me see. Sorry. Oh yeah, uh, shadows is uh, it's too deep um, or there's a pit. Um, highlights is that it it could be uh, too high. Um, so very handy tool to be able to use. The hole. Oh, okay. So uh, the the way you uh, do the hole uh, for the nostril is get the lines in, and we have a line here, 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 and well, we have a line here, but we don't need it. Um, there is. You can't really see it on this, but in the center at the back. There's a bone in the middle, so um, what I've done with my tool, uh, see the problem is you, you might be uh, your tool might be annoying you as well, um, but you can literally get this with a toothpick. I will uh, I I will draw that line around and then into a little peak, and that little peak I have it's gotten rid of there. Yeah. So draw a line around. And then what I would do is scoop in, like I've done here, scoop in on the inside of that line. Now you don't need to go too far in. It does go far in though. And you want to create that ridge. Mine looks more like a car. That's okay. That's okay. That if it looks like a cartoon skull. Um, but uh, the, the, this morning we didn't have even a cartoon skull. Um, whereas um, the next time, and hopefully there will be next time, um, that you haven't. This hasn't destroyed you altogether. Um, the next time you do it, you will. Uh, it'll be better. And then the next time after that, it will be better. But my opinion on it is that even the even a cartoon skull, which you might be um, saying is great and uh, or you're not happy with, or that it isn't what it should be, um, well that didn't exist this morning, did it? Now what I what I will be in well I don't know uh, hopefully during the summer lads what I am going to try and do is um, do more courses and um, I, um, I I did them already but the the, the silicone course but the uh, silicone boss course and the um, 
character make uh, oh, words. Um, um, sort of a, a, a character bus sculpting course five days. But what I was going to do is stuff like this as well, uh, but in person too. So if you're interested in that in person, just let me know. The one thing, um, what does your jaw look like from beneath? Okay, I didn't do that yet, so my jaw doesn't look great. So what, what, um, I uh, don't know if I can take, I can't take that off. I'll show you, I'll show you the actual jaw on it. But uh, before we do that, um, uh, like we all have one. Um, so uh, I will, when I'm doing stuff, um, or even sculpting or drawing, I'll be going to brush my ear, or um, what does that feel like? And, um, uh, to, to underneath, feel underneath. There's a if, if you push hard enough, don't push too fucking hard. If you push hard enough, your tongue will keep on going. It's actually hollow. And um, um, if you looked at, uh, and you've probably seen this on TV, if you looked at a skull, get one here. If you looked at a skull, it's hollow, right up to um, uh, the your palate. Um, so that there. You can see the shape of it. Um, it's it's actually quite rounded, and we have this nice dip at uh, at the end. So um, let's have a let's have a go with that. I'll actually, just leave him there. So this is his jaw is quite squarey. So I'm just going to round that off a little bit, and then I'm going to scoop out. Scoop out. Always clean your tool lads. Scoop out, scoop out, scoop out. Now I'm not going to go down too far because with what I'm going to do at the end is when I eventually finish it. Um I'm gonna create a base um around here. So um, uh, I can mold it. Uh, I want to create that dibble, 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 dimple. It's about there. Now, don't forget, see in here. I haven't actually done it yet right in there at the teeth it's quite shallow and that there's that little point there you see that little point there's a little dipple lift that as well just i'm going to do this now so that it i can do um the, the next bit of the jaw so as you saw on the re and uh, the real one it goes in not into a point but uh, it's not square but like it's in mine Mine, mine down. Mine pretty flat at the front. So, um, but I'm gonna go off the reference. Now what I need to do is actually put it back in here, in there. It, there is actually a ridge to the jaw. And it is quite sharp. And I don't have that, just give them a little bit of a sausage. So we have an hour and a half left. Would you have thought that you have been with me well, without the little hiccup in the minute, in the middle. But you have a lot of been with me since ten o'clock this morning. I can see the way that sausage there just give me that ridge. Let me get that ridge in. If we, you really wouldn't think we were here, here since ten o'clock. It's great. 
Can you see that ridge? Now I might need to fill that a little bit there too. is that tool that I was talking about and using. Just move him down and him down. This one, the loop tool. Um, and um, if you don't know about the loop tools, go on to my tutorial on loop tool, on actual sculpting tools, but I, sh I actually make a loop tool right in front of you. Now you can see that ridge now. I'm glad you said that now. How do, how do we do the underneath of your job? Because it wasn't done. And in here, it swoops around. Oh my god, Shona, when's your birthday? So happy birthday. Is it late or early? Early, happy early birthday. Excellent. Well, that's where I'm going at half five. Um, my brother in law is, oh, and his, his daughter is birthday today as well. Now, I haven't done these teeth um, yet, but um, I was asked to do the jaw. I haven't done the bottom teeth yet. I haven't actually finished the top teeth yet either. It's just I'm hopping from what people are asking me to do. Um, it's, his, it's his 40th, and I think she's six. So I'm going on the knee and it's quite sharp. Love these loop tools, love them. So all they are, um, uh, base, base strings, base strings. It's a pity we don't have sound from ye. Um, we could wish you a happy birthday, Sean. Is that actually answering your question of how do you do the underside of the jaw? Mm -hmm. I might take this off in a minute, but uh, um, I think it's very handy actually for um, the lines. Now that there goes right up to the palate um, of the of, of right up on, on, on underneath your in, inside your mouth up to the roof um, I am not doing that um, because I am going to make a, a base and um, you can see there that ridge that's what you're looking for now you don't have uh, the, the back um, but it sort of goes, it goes very thin I don't have reference for that, but it goes thin, thin, and then out a bit. Twenty six tomorrow. Oh my goodness! Jesus Christ! A long time ago. That's, uh, whoa, 22 years ago, mother of God. And what's nice about the, the loop tool, it's the one that sort of allows you to see the shadows and it allows you to get this smooth 
and again I these are I make these you can buy them and um, but I, I make mine. The sculpting is a nice way to spend it. Cool. I'm delighted. So does that answer your question about the underside of the jaw? Beginning to break, not because of this, but I have an absolute wilderness outside, and I've been trying to get it. Well, I live in Connemara, lads, so um, it is wild and elephant spittle. And the um, what I call my garden a garden, uh, no, I call it the wilderness. I'm trying to make it into a, well, start, uh, make it into a garden, and um, it's either holes that you're filling, and it's all rock. Uh, so you're lifting heavy stones to fill holes. Oh, Jesus, they're heavy. Is this soothing lads or is this frustrating? Let me know. And um what what I'm going to do as well because uh, I'd like I'd what I would like to do is uh, I'd I'd like to do lots more of these type of things. And um, but uh, I want to um know what you would want to do. And um I'm going to do a little bit of a survey and if you wouldn't mind helping me with that and just fill it in and um because I'd, I'd like to do more of these things but i'd like to know what people want to do as well and is, is this a good like some of the questions i'll be asking but is this a good way for you to learn um or what type of things would you like to learn or how do you learn Maybe we could do it in a different way. Now, let me look at that. There. So, in here, the frontal bone, it goes around and it creates a dip in there, a little ridge here. So, the frontal lobe, this bit, the front sorry the frontal um, bone it's not the lobe of your brain um am i right I'm saying that I keep forgetting frontal bone yeah um so swoop that around and you get that triangle there and i'm going to can you see that that triangle I know it's a little bit awkward, and it probably it probably looks you you know people coming in going what the hell are they doing? Um, I can see it's a skull, but what the hell is sticking out of the head? Um, I think for beginners, it's a really useful way of um, trying to get accurately um, uh, use reference, and um, once we can get that it accurately, uh, you know, use reference accurately, um, the, the whole. The whole job is that a little bit easier. I'm gonna just 
there's sinus holes that are lovely to get in. Um, Hey Paul, looking great. How are you getting the picture in picture? Oh, um, okay. Well, what you're seeing is, uh, is um, how do I explain this? The software I'm using is called OSB. OSB, it's free. And it um, takes a little, a little bit of getting used to. Um, um, I'm sort of used to it at this stage because I've tried to do a lot of things in it. Um, the when inside you uh, the uh, OSB, I can t I have a camera above me. It's just it's just an iPhone, um, I have a, a mic here as well. Um, this is Zoom, and I'm actually using the computer itself. So all of this goes into the computer and then goes in, into OSB. And um, I just say it's very simple. Sources, press plus, and uh, did I say what did I say? OSB. What did I say? Yeah, OSB. Maybe I said, did I say something else? OS, oh, sorry, let me go. OBS um, uh, Studio, thanks, Aiden. It's uh, uh, OBS Studio. Um, I think you think I could read, it's right in front of me. And um, simple as this uh, you went to sources, press plus, and this is a va uh, your camera is a video capture device, and it automatically uh, will see it as long as it's hooked up. Um, now you can put on all sorts of different things and do it wirelessly, which I would not do because it, it eats up the bandwidth and um, I'm obviously streaming this so I want this to be good quality. And um, once it's on the screen, I can make it whatever size I want. Uh, it's quite like Photoshop or Illustrator or something like that, it goes in layers. So whatever's on top, you see, and um, uh, whatever's below that is behind. So therefore you can see me in the top left hand corner, so that's the top layer. And um, then there's things that I'll just I'll just see as you ask the question. Um, I had this in YouTube, but the uh, YouTube um, got rid of me. It wouldn't let me in. It, it actually blocked the whole thing. But uh, you can put a, an image up, like um, uh, or a chat. We were in chat, so I pulled that in from um, you, uh, YouTube. And then you can do all the things like uh, now. I'm still here, lads. I'm just uh, giving it. This is my cover of uh, image. Um, that there, um, and you can do a ticker tape thing uh, uh, like that. So that, uh, just to remind people, you know, give us a share or subscribe because I'm going to be doing more of these. So um, and like it, share it all around the place. Because if, if there's nobody here, what's the point of me doing it? Uh, so all of that there um, is sources, and I, I have all the control over it. You can see, it, I can't see any of that. Now that there will it needs a stream, um, what's it called? It's a streaming code, um, which when you're in going live on uh, Facebook, uh, it'll say, "Do you want it?" Um, and I take it from there, put it into OBS, and uh, OBS will send the signal out, and it sends the signal out through Facebook. And what I can do as well, there's another button called Embed. And I can use a code from embed from Facebook and put it out onto the website because there's lots of people who don't have um, um, Facebook or YouTube or, or sorry Instagram, so you can get it out that way. So I hope that answers your question. That's how I'm getting camera in camera. Tom, lovely to have you here all day. And sorry about earlier on, but um. um Finish your sculpt, send me a photograph, and I'll post them all up. Um, that's going to take a wee while uh, to finish them. Like, uh, like, uh, but uh, take your time. Uh, I will put uh, this, put this into a video, so you can go back over it, and back over it, and back over it. And um, when it's finished, send it to me, and then we'll post them all up, and ha we'll have a look at them. Now I'm not an expert at all, Peter, um, but the. Um, I just said to myself, well, I want to do this, how do you do this? And Mr. Google and Mr. YouTube told me, like there are people out there who spend their lives telling people all sorts of information. I suppose I did that myself. Now this here could swoop in a bit more as well.
very satisfying when, it, uh, and I am the same as you. Um, I am exactly the same uh, as you when it comes to sculpting. When I start, uh, I'm going, oh my God, like there's nothing there. Um, so how do I start? Uh, how do I how do I move on? And then, um, uh, well, the first thing you do is you, you start. Um, um, and like we didn't do this, not planned. We planned all of this. Um, we you know we cut out our templates. We have our reference, and um, we're working off our reference all the time. Um, so it it it's not something that we just uh, oh I'm going to sculpt today and um, uh, we just do it. We you know we planned this. And um, you, we spent, I'd say, a good hour and a half this morning um, uh, uh, planning it out. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, like that is getting it into your head. Now I did all of that, and you, um, uh, the, you know, preparing it. But you can do it too. So when I started, like this morning, I was the same as you. I was going, oh Christ, um, is this going to work at all? Um, am I going to look like a complete tool in front of, I don't know many people we have now, uh, I, I'm afraid we probably lost some people, but um, my apologies again, I, I can't stop, I can't, well, I have to stop apologising sometime, um, but the, um, I, I would feel daunted, I do feel daunted when I um, when I start doing a sculpt, um, I think anybody does, but if we plan it, well enough and um, that should get rid of a little bit of the daunt and um, I don't think it gets rid of it completely and um, because the planning is one stage one phase we have to do that um, but then the next phase is actually bloody starting it but what's nice about this and oh actually that's a, that's actually a question um, uh, I was good I was going to say that it was a question Fiona asked uh, what's inside Beckett and uh, what's inside Beckett is this actually and that's why I showed it to you. If you look at that, what I, I did in Beckett, and Beckett is twice size, human size, two to one. Um, I cut out exactly the same method here, but I didn't use a template, didn't use uh, these things here. Um, sorry, these things here, didn't use these things. What I did was, um, I cut around the head like this. So I cut around the head and a little bit, uh, no, I'm moving around a bit. Um, I cut around the head, but about five mil in. So I did the uh, side profile, I did the front profile, but five mil smaller. And then this here, I'll just show it to you. Put that there. This here, get that out of the way, get this out of the way. Now you can see why I put a cover on my. Um, this is spliced, um, and that's exactly what I did on Beckett. So when I when I'm the stuff I'm showing you here, it's not just for small stuff like this. It's for it could be massive stuff uh, or big things like that. Uh, so I spliced a I think it was 16 mil or maybe 12 mil, 612 mil MDF together. So I, I cut out um, the profile, cut out the profile, completely cut out the profile, but did it five mil smaller. And then splice it together like that. If people were watching um, the the lives, you would have seen at the base if there was an X. This is what it was. And um, then I crossed over lots of wood, and then I filled in um, tin foil. Um, no, there's I think about four rolls of tin foil in him. Um, so um, uh, grade tin foil, brilliant. It's cheap and uh, you get lots of it. Uh, like it's a, a it's a really useful way of. Uh, making an armature uh, and like how can it be wrong it it's 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 right and um, so that is a useful thing to, sh uh, to show you and that's what myself and Fiona were talking about while everybody's come back from lunch so I think we're probably nearing our last hour uh, if there's any questions please ask um, I'm pr I'm not going to go over to the other side. I'll do uh, big. Um, I'm going to stick on this side. I know 
the, it's weird. I was thinking about this the other day. I know with coronavirus and this mad situation we were in, uh, it's really screwed people's lives up um, and wrecked their brains. Where, but me, I've just I found this is actually now it doesn't fully work, um, but actually really I've really enjoyed doing these type of things and I've been forced into a situation that I sort of have to figure out a way of um, doing this type of stuff and working with, with students. Um, now, what I want to do is actually put this nice little knobby thing in here, it's right there. Um, I had to figure out a way of um, still teaching students and um, learning OBS um, and you know, figure out all sorts of cameras and stuff like that. But after I've really enjoyed it, and uh, it's really nice actually connecting with people that I would never. Well, a lot of people I know here, but a lot of people I don't. And um, it's, it's it's a really nice way of connecting with people. Now that knobby thing, that's really nice, and you can feel that if you go to your jaw and you go back, you will feel oh, right there, right there. sharp as that. And like tipping away and this would be a lovely thing to tip away doing. Tipping away and you have all the reference. You have a um, have clay and um, like over the next couple of evenings you might we might not get it all done today. Um I don't know. Um I couldn't, well I can't imagine anything nicer to be doing, to be honest, myself. And now that there, you can see, where's the reference, there it is. That there is, let's see, one, two, three, and one, two, three. No, sorry, one, two, three. So the line is there, which is there, and amazing. So it has that, that there has to come down uh, a fair bit, that knobby thing. Sorry, someone sent me a message here. Oh no. So we're just going to get this knobby thing in. That's it. Have we got an actual term for that? We do. And it is... The mastoid process. This bit here. The mastoid process. And don't think, lads, that I know everything about a skull. I don't. Um, and like, I, the reason why I give you the reference is that we can all look at the references um, together. There, there's the line there, and I just put that line back in so you can see that line is about there, and um, so you can see how far it's going down. Ha and like, how do I measure things? Uh, well, you could do this. Um, that there, you can see I'm fiddling with it. it. Takes a wee while, and I can measure it there, and I could. You can see how much that needs to come down, um, or I could uh, use the tool and just measure it with my finger and thumb and that there and it makes the same distance away so I'm just gonna stand up for a little while I'm sitting down too long yeah perfect now you can see I'm, um, I'm a messy bugger when people get frustrated with sculpting. I think one of the things is that they start sculpting and don't plan it. Um, and so therefore they get frustrated with the process. Um, whereas we planned this, um, like we really did plan it. It's 
spent a lot of time doing templates this morning, or at least talking about templates this morning. Um, we made them. And then what you do is when you make them, you trust them. Um, now, what happens here is this. Um, that goes up there, but it scoops around here. Let me see it. Let me see in here. There. Yeah. I like all these little bits when you like. Oh, this is what I love. It's good. You do a little bit, and then um, you add it in, and then it goes. Oh, that looks really real. That's getting realer. Realer. That's a good word. Realer. Realer. Now. What's showing me now is with this, is that this joins up over here, but uh, um, it doesn't. So let's fill that in, a bit of a sausage. OSB, what is it called? That's, OSB is a sheet material, not a feckin' software. Now you can begin to see the bot. That's what I love about this. You put one little bit in, and then it moves on to the next bit, and then it moves on to the next bit. Uh, and as long as you've worked with the uh, the reference and you've stuck to it, and you uh, you draw those lines in, and you you keep I got to it, is, um, keep drawing those lines in, and um, look at it, and don't do don't do this. Um, um, I'm sticking. I should be sitting down. I, I need. Do, do. And um, don't when when you see and you look at the um uh, this because you're looking at it all the time, and um, when you see something and you uh, you're looking at it and you're saying that doesn't look right. Um, well, you've been looking at this all day. There's two things happening that could be happening. One is you're looking at it all day and you're sick to death of it. Um, so uh, you need to walk away. Uh, and if you come back and you still think that uh, that there's something wrong here, measure it off the reference. And uh, if it's not right on the reference, it's wrong. So, rectify it. Um, but don't berate yourself because it's wrong. Just fix it. I see that an awful lot uh, uh, in college. Um, people want to get onto the sculpty bit. But that's the uh, the nice bit, or I would hope that people think it's a nice bit. And um, this has this has to go back a bit as well. But the uh, um, and they spend an awful lot of time designing, but not necessarily planning the sculpt. Plan the sculpt. It will help you in the, in the long run. Christine, if it, 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 this is, is, I would ask um, a, a simple question because uh, I don't know. Um, is this the first time that you've sculpted a skull? Christine saying, lads, that her uh, head looks like an alien. Um, is this the first time? Because if it is the first time, um, wait till the second. Wait until the third. Wait until the fourth. Wait until the fifth. Um, uh, and believe you me, uh, and I am wholeheartedly, um, completely 100% serious on this, that when I started first, um, I was off. Oh, and I still have bad days. Um, um, but uh, one thing that I was, and that stood by me, was fucking just dog of determinedness to do it right. And um, the first one was crap. The 20th one wasn't, 
I think I don't know if he's still here. Owen, Owen, um, uh, I don't know if he, he was here earlier on. Um, but um, Paddy Hine would tell you that um, the, what Owen's a brilliant sculptor. But Owen would say to you, um, do the same sculpt ten times, and uh, the tenth one will be better than the first one. Like even me doing this. This is better than the first one I did. No, I didn't spend a lot of time on the first one. I wanted to get something out so you could, you know, see something. First time ever. Like, that's, like, lads, that's savage. First time ever. Like, you I don't underestimate, um, like, a human head. Um, is extremely difficult to do and there's a reason for that um, we have all got one we know what they look like and um, there's a knobby bit and i'm just putting it in let me see where is it it is just about there you can just see it with the shadow it's just about there and it's about there just putting it a little bit in and um, we all have a head believe it or not and um uh, when we uh, and we've seen lots of them, so uh, we're very familiar uh, with, with with heads. So even anybody who doesn't sculpt much uh, can look at a head and say, "Well, that don't fucking look right, does it?" Um, because we all have uh, have seen them for since we were born, and we have one. We see it every day in the mirror. So, whereas a creature, um, well, what point of reference do we have? Uh, some some creatures are better than others, and um, and that's when uh, anatomy, whether that be human anatomy or whether that be animal anatomy, has been taken into play. But the uh, we we have we have a reference base, and it's an actually what we've done today is one of the uh, it is one of the hardest things to do. Then after that we flesh it out. So we're not trying to do something that's very easy, but that's okay. Oh yeah, like this is so useful for, for proportions. Like, and I've um, in the reference that we haven't even used, um, I've given you reference that, um, like, um, let me see. Can we actually see it? Let me see. Uh, let me see. I'll let's see if I can see this. Ref. There we go. And there we go. Um, so in the, these references, that one there and that one there, which is brilliant, um, in thirds, um, uh, like halves and thirds, and that's what a, a face is uh, made up of. And now don't get confused with this with a, with a skull, it's slightly different. Um, but eyes, it's a third uh, or a fifth. Um, if you look at the, um, the reason why I say a fifth, is because uh, the width between the eyes is the same width as the eyes, which is the same width from the edge of the eye to the edge of the head. So if that's one fifth. Um, in here, it's looking it look, what the way it look, uh, they look at it is a third. And then where are the eyes? With halfway in the center of the head. Um, uh, where are the uh, where is the brow? Well, it's two thirds way up. And um, where is the bottom of the nose? It's a third way up. Like all of these things. Um, you, you, I, now I have a folder and um, let me get back in here. Uh, I have a folder and I just use, uh, just dump a reference into it all the time. And um, if you just just do it, just, and uh, oh, I, have, I have another folder of just weird looking faces and um, the like. I've loads of old people. Did I lose. No, there you are. Uh, did I lose you? Uh, no, you're back. So uh, I have loads of photographs of old people, uh, wrinkles. Um, um, that w one thing I actually would like to do is um, um, I don't know if that's going to be next. And I have to be careful not doing too much because I need to do. I need to actually fake work. Um, one thing I'd look through is an eye, um, is just a portion of the eye down here. Uh, 
that's not it. Dealing with your glasses. So a portion of the eye and a little bit of the nose and, and do it in classical um like uh, Michelangelo style and um that would be really useful for reference. But please, please don't berate yourself because you th um you th think today if you've never done a skull before, don't be rate yourself thinking that um, oh it looks crap. Um, if it looks anything like the skull from today, um, well you've done a bloody good job. Has anybody got any questions? Or anybody want me to go over anything? Or are we just lost in the land of sculpting? I thought it happened to me. The anatomy book, um, I'll show you. Just look, take this down. This is actually from the anatomy book. Where is he? There. Anatomy for sculptors. Um, so take that down. It's uh, uh, now they're all over the place. Uh, the website, Instagram, every everything. Um, they have loads of books that are, are for sale now. Um, but the one I it was a kick, they usually do Kickstarters. Um, so the Kickstarter one I um, got in for won't be with me on September. Anatomy for sculptors. Now you're t you're talking. Oh my God! Um, you're talking people there who really, really, really know their anatomy. Um, and uh, I've seen live tutorials with the guy that does it, and this dude can draw a skull, skeleton, muscles, everything in chalk, on a blackboard, accurately, different colors. Um, showing different layers, and I'm going, Jesus Christ! I, you know, it makes me feel like I know nothing. Now this here does. It I think it actually needs to raise up a little bit. Just right there, so a little. That's a dirty ball. A little ball. I actually, I was out in the gardens, uh, I was talking earlier about, the, um, about Connemara and, um, get rid of that, uh, it's filthy, the, I, what do you, what's here, there you go, um, what happened to me, oh yeah, I was building a wall, and the wall, uh, the rocks I was using were fucking massive, very heavy, it fell on my thumb, and I'm going. Uh, hold on a minute! I've the fucking sculpt here uh, on Saturday, and um, so uh, I know we nearly didn't get off the ground with uh, YouTube. We nearly didn't get off the ground because I nearly wrecked myself. Now this is this here is it's it's actually quite flat. You can't really see it on that because it's bleached out. Oh, you can, there. Yeah, right there. It's quite flat. I had it rounded. It's not. It's flat. Always trust the reference. Now, sometimes you can get lost in reference. Um, that can be a right pain in the backside. Um, but, um, so plan it and then 
uh, for instance, these lines that I put in every now and again, um, they help me see it. Yours looks a bit like an ape. It could look like a bit like an ape if the forehead is very heavy. This is a little bit flat. And again, it's a little bit flat, yeah. I'm really trying to do that. So lads, I have to, is there a reason this but what does that mean? Is there a reason the sculpt would be off? Um, there's a few reasons why the sculpt would be off if it's not symmetrical. Is um, well, go over the measurements. Make sure the template. Um, that's why I'm keeping it in here. To uh, I don't need it in here, but keep the template in. Draw the lines over, draw the lines down. And if you need to, if you're getting confused, number them. And um, um, just keep going back to the reference and say, is that line actually where it should be? And what's nice is at this stage you can actually if you wanted and it's not what gives uh, expression the skull is the muscles um, but you actually could put an expression on the way some people are saying they have an ape the brow is low but you could actually give it a sad look happy look You're only getting to the teeth now. That's fine. Um, uh, like, uh, like that, that. That's a good, uh, good uh, place to be. So just be aware of the teeth. The teeth. Just be aware of them now. The teeth don't go out to here. The teeth. The, it's uh, it's in one square nearly, uh, but one and a half. Uh, but uh, just keep your lines going out, and the line goes out. And the line is actually on the top of the teeth there. And then this line comes down, it's about um, right there. And that actually should go in a bit there. You have a line there. And uh, you can see how far it acts, this bit here, if you can get that bit in, this bit in here. Actually, I, I have to go in a bit myself. And it curves out a little bit and then straight back. You can see there, it curves out and it's curving back and then coming back a little bit and then nearly goes straight back at an angle. You can see it there, going straight back at an, at, at an angle. But if you're at the teeth, that's good. Roasting here, and the reason it's roasting is my oven is on. Now I'm just going to work on a few things, and because uh, I'd like, I'd like to move it on a little. See, I'm going. To, what I want to do, uh, lads, I'm not going to be able to show you everything, 
but there were there are little tricks and um, that I'd like to be able to uh, to do. So I'm going to try and get it to that stage. And one of them is these um, um, uh, the lines, uh, the cracks in it where the plates um, fuse together. Uh, that happened when you were a kid. Um, so I'm just going to mark them in. And to do that, I am going to put my lines back. If the sculpt is going off, put the lines back in, measure it, measure, measure, measure. In there. Bit like Jim Carrey in a mask, cool. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm just going to draw this in. These lines are shaky hand, a shaky hand. Now I'm going to get rid of these lines here for a wee while. An evil skull. <laughs> what, this, what a skill would be is to... The skulls in the nature look evil. But it is a skill to actually walk them or change them so they actually don't look evil. I roughly have those in there. And I'm going to use one of these, a sponge. I'm going to use it to, um, and it's amazing how quickly um, this sponge actually helps you make it look like bone. Get those lines in again. And we want to do a shaky line and get that jaggedy edge ness in it. Now I'm jumping ahead, but uh, I just want to be able to show you um, that. It looks a little bit, um, there's dipples in here, it looks a little bit rough um, in here. So all sorts of wavy lines and with the sponge just be gentle nice about this is you actually get I get to show you this with Beckett um, he's a good bit off I'm able to show you stuff like this um, now it's the same a similar technique um, but the problem is it's different scale 
Mine look like Pinhead. Yeah, well, yeah, but it would do, wouldn't it? It'd look like Pinhead. Get rid of these lines. Oh, I need to put those lines in. These lovely lines here, and uh, this is like um, like skin. It, ha it, it actually has weird lines that you wouldn't expect. These lines in here coming out from here. That sponge is, um, I love it, it's, called, it's, it's just called a stipple sponge, or uh, what well, it's actually, what well, I call it, Scott foam, and um, you, it is used for uh, filtration in uh, aquarium tanks, um, and you get it in, a, uh, well I get it in um, Pentaville Rubber in England, um, but you can get it in um, any aquarium place, pet shop. Now, I get it in um, different densities. There, you can see that there. That's a different one. There's a lot. It's a lot. Can you see that? It's a lot holier. And that one there is a lot denser. So I'm using this one. If you use the holy one um, for this, it'll eat it up a bit more. Or is it used the holy one for Beckett possibly in that stages? Ah, need a drink. Would that not be cool though, Shona? If I actually move this on forward. Uh, from the skull then and, and actually make pinhead that'd be fun like we have the bases now lads to be able to um, create a character and that's fun just getting rid of these lines There is these little break up lines going across here, and these break up lines going here. Pits. Some more pits there, and that there is deep. So lads, we're coming up on nearly five o'clock, which is amazing. And um, we are nearly, uh, I said I needed to finish at five, half five, sorry, half five. I'm going to a 40th, socially distanced 40th. Now, if I did the whole head, I wouldn't be able to get to this stage uh, to show you, which I think it's cool to be able to get to, uh, to see the finish finish. Or how I would finish it. No, it's not finished. Obviously, it's not finished after the other side. Um, but this one's, this uh, side is getting fairly nice. And let's get these sinusy things in. There's a valley there. And then that's that one. And then this one here. Let's get that in. 
and then there's a valley there as well. And then a scoops around. Scoops around to here. And then there's a little hole in there. And then there's a little hole in there. These little holes are really make it sometimes. There are also little holes in here. Get these bodies right. With this sponge, sometimes it's too big. And it's getting into sort of, it can't get into spaces. Um, so what you do is, you cut a bit. Scissors. And to make it be people would know this, put it in a wedge. So you have a tapered edge and a fat edge which you can use. So any questions anybody wants me to go over before the, uh, uh, we finish up? Because we do have to finish. I know you might not want to. Um, but is, I, believe you me, you're going to be tired after this. Actually, and the last little while do the bottom teeth. It actually looks right, so I'm going to turn it upside down. And <coughs> same thing again, and that's getting in my way a bit. Make the teeth. So I'm making the teeth and some valleys. You can see that with the two. And my eyesight wonder go. And these teeth will be under. So just make sure you get it on the.
on to you saying, I'm wrecked but good wrecked, thanks so much, reminds me of being a kid, used to do this when I was about 8 or 9 and I hadn't done it since, cool, oh, no, obviously you can see there lads that I haven't done uh, the right hand side, I, I would, I'd get that in another stage. Teeth and the valleys in for the gums. Do you think if uh, you don't use balls and sausages uh, specifically to add to the form that it's less effective in terms of sculpt taking shape? I tend to forget and just add blob to play and wonder if I'm working against myself. Like, um, is it the reference? That's my method. I use balls and sausages. Um, so, um, uh, but like, you don't have to do that. But I, I think. Um, when you're putting it on, if you if you measured about the clay that you're putting on, so therefore you're thinking about it that it's a ball or a sausage, that you're actually thinking about it, um, instead of just putting blobs on, and that um, it, it it can work out more controlled and more more accurate, um, that it can help, um, but like obviously if, if you see on the reference. For instance, that that needs to go high. Do you need a ball or a sausage? It doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, you're working. You are working off the reference. So the reference is the Bible, absolute Bible. But it, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's uh, but I I I find it um, useful. It, it's just working balls and sausages. get down this small sometimes it's useful to use a pin an actual pin or a cocktail stick I know there's people out there, they're probably uh, maybe a little bit frustrated. Um, it's not working the way they want it to work. Um, and they're looking at me going, you can do it, why can't I do it? Um, well, I do a lot of it. And um, it, But even I would think that um, you know some of my scopes could be better, so therefore I need more time on them. So, time. What's it? Um, I think it's 
something depressing like a thousand hours um, uh, to you need to spend a thousand t uh, ten thousand hours on something uh, for um, you to become a master at it. So how many have we spent? Eight. And that's not saying that the stuff that we produce is of no value, but we have to be um, actually realistic as well about where we are at. All learning. Different for that. Where I can be Sorry, uh, sometimes I go, um, I just get into it and I forget that she's a deal. My apologies. What could we use instead of your brush? What brush? What brush am I using? Am I using a brush? Did I use a brush? Are we, are we talking about this brush? I haven't used that brush. Um, you could if you wanted to use that brush. What brush are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, big time. Now sometimes you get balls of clay um, on your sculpt. Uh, the chip brush, um, I find that really useful to get the balls off the sculpt. And, and getting into those hard to reach areas with your brush. You can see those teeth forming now. Cool. Now I, I have loads of different versions of these loop tools, different um, sizes, different weights. As I said, I make all my own loop tools, and I think it's useful. Um, sculpting is uh, rusty. Well, the only thing that will solve that is what I've said earlier: sculpt. And um, you, you, it's something that it's not. You don't lose it, but um, but uh, it, it it can take a wee while to get the cogs all what. Um, greased up and oiled up again but it's not it's not as if you uh, you forget uh, for the top of the skull i didn't use a brush i used this um for the top of the skull for here um that there you, you can get these makeups um, um i think you can even get them boots Uh, to do that, you could get one of these uh, to step uh, to a uh, chip brush or a stipple brush. Um, so you know, for stippling, um, 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 doing stencil work, um, it's the same same thing. And actually, Soster and Green, if you go to there, um, they uh, sell really nice ones. Or you could use a stiff painting brush. And that would help um, instead of using uh, the sponge. What? What's this? That is Scott foam. 
um, um, and it, what it is used for is uh, filtration in aquarium tanks or in, in uh, uh, filtration in, in, in general but saucer and green that's cool a uh, great place but uh, any uh, you know uh, 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 you've got really nice soft brushes um, and then you've got the harsh brushes and um, you want a little bit of a harsh brush to do this and then what you could do at the end if you wanted to you could talc it a little, talc it a little bit if there's, if there's little balls on it that are annoying you you could talc it uh, just uh, baby powder and um, you could it, it put a little bit on it and um, put it onto the brush and then just move it around and it'll uh, take away the balls The cheapest, uh, I, I don't buy it, uh, the um, this black sponge from uh, Pet Shops. Uh, what I do uh, is I buy it from the people who make it in Pentonville, Rub Pentonville Rubber in England. And um, the, um, they, uh, and like what's nice about them, what they will do is, um, oh, I think it's about five pounds they will send you out a little a sample uh, of but no, actually that's a sample um uh, but 50 mil by 50 mil um actually that's about 100 100 mil by 100 mil and um, by uh, 25 mil thick if you ask them for a sample of all their all, of all their um uh, scott foam and um you get it for very little and um, then you can choose which one you like and i get it in huge blocks and I cut it up myself. So that's the way I do it. Again, I haven't done the um, the other side. I will, but um, I wouldn't be able to get to like finishing stuff to all in this in this length of time. It's nice to be able to show you that. Now, a common uh, misconception is uh, using lighter fluid that it will smooth it out. It won't smooth it out, it will melt it. Um, so uh, do not think that using lighter fluid on this will um, um, smooth it, it will melt it. But that can be a very good effect as well, um, but depending on what uh, you're doing. Or I might want to actually we'll do that. Let's we'll see if I can get a little. Uh, just let me get a little brush. And then mention. Let's just show you what I'm talking about. Now this place is a state. Get a brush. And with a light up fluid. With light up fluid, which I have, yeah. Uh, with lighter fluid, you um put it in it what i do, what i what is what i do i keep um hummus tubs any hummus tub that comes in uh, to uh, this place i keep all the hummus tubs and 
the light of fluid, if you put it into the hummus tub and then close it over, it'll last that little bit longer. So a little bit of uh, light of fluid. Now, B, 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 double B, careful. Um, so, the teeth are, what I could do is to clean them up a little bit. Use a bit of lighter fluid, and you actually you can actually nearly sculpt um, with the brush to a point. And what you can do. You can even, you know, the way there's ridges on teeth. You can even get them in on this if you wanted to. So, let's pick that up. So, that's my 10 minute. Finishing off, lads. Um, so, I would. L I just want to say thank you um, for well, thank you for turning up and uh, being part of the day. Uh, I'm glad that it actually got finished. Um, there was a point there we, I didn't know what the hell was going to happen. Um, let's, let's get this crossed in this. Um, but I'm glad that you stuck it out and stuck with me. I don't like it, get it back on some platform that we could all work together again. So, I'm gonna run into the, has anybody, que uh, any questions for the last little round? And you can see, I'm not I'm not putting a lot of lighter fluid on there, but it's, it, it literally has helped me sculpt that, that little bit easier. Um, but I am not putting a lot on it. Believe you me, I'm not putting it on it, on it at all. So, nine minutes. So, uh, there is the half of a skull. Um, can we put that somewhere? Yeah. Um, so half half of the skull. Um, just to reiterate what we did in the um, uh, last couple of minutes. Um, I gave you that. We cut that up and we made a, a negative and a positive uh, template. Uh, a, a positive which is that, and that is a, a positive reference, uh, which is that there. And then we made off that the negative uh, reference. Let's move him up a little bit. Um, and it, he's going to get manky um, because we've been sh pushing and shoving him around the place. So um, that there, like, we could, like you could keep these. And if you wanted um, to actually make really nice ones of it that you wanted to keep, and uh, what you could do, instead of using card, you could use stuff called styrene or plastic card, and um, cut this out of plastic card. And the plastic card um, will act, you could actually clean it um, with lighter fluid afterwards, and uh, it will uh, it'll, it'll stay fresh for oh, for a long, long time. Um, so that there, I know it took a while uh, to create that, but it is a very, very useful exercise, um, and. Um, that's both our reference as well as our template and that method there I would use uh, not just for this scale for something that's absolutely humongous and it'll, it'll work out exactly the same size. Uh, so again lads I apologise for the lack of um,
the cooperation from YouTube. I, I'm gonna have to get onto that and see what the story is because I want to I want to do this more and more. And um, uh, what I would ask you to do is uh, obviously uh, 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 give us a like, give us a share, and um, subscribe to the uh, to the YouTube. Uh, if I need more people to actually do it, um, so um, then use lot. Go on ahead and do it. Um, so I, I'm going to put more. Uh, I'm going to put this together, as I said. It'll take me a wee while to do that. I'm going to finish this skull first, um, to uh, as well. Um, I'll put the video together. I'll put it up online, and um, uh, you can follow it. And um, don't, dads, don't berate yourself for not getting it done today or not getting it finished. Um, but what would be lovely is if you spend a bit of time getting it finished. And then um, uh, send us over an image. I, I'll send you everybody an email and say, go to the website, go to this page, upload your photograph. And it just would be lovely to see out of everybody today who was sculpting, uh, what they came up with. Um, and there'll be no judging. And if anybody wants me to, um, to look at it, um, uh, look at them, I will. Um, I know it's difficult, I'm here, you're there. But um, uh, uh, any feedback, lads, uh, I would love. I want to make this better um, and uh, it, like it, 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 I enjoy it but it is for you um, so if you uh, feel that it, this could have been better that could have been better or you enjoyed this bit or you really enjoyed that bit um, let me know um, uh, I, I'm cool um, I, I want as much feedback as I can uh, when I am going to do more stuff and I uh, have your emails now so I will send it out so you'll be the first ones to know uh, whenever I'm doing something in the future um, so uh, I'm, I'm delighted that uh, you all uh, s stayed. Uh, I think I lost a bucket load of people, um, but uh, hopefully they're on the website. I can't. Uh, I unfortunately can't um, see your com. Uh, there is I can't, there is no comments on the website, but I think there's loads of people over there. Um, but I will try and sort this out in future. Um, for uh, the meantime, if we want to do something again, it'll probably have to be uh, Facebook. I know a lot of people aren't uh, on Facebook, but I will put it up on. I always put it up on uh, the website for people who um, don't have any uh, or haven't been sucked in like I have into Facebook and Instagram. But um, uh, oh, and you're still there, um, now, uh, lads. When you see Owens, Owens is a savage cop though. Um, uh, and go to Owen, go to Owen's uh, Facebook page, Owen McMorrow. Go to his Facebook page. Have a look at um, the ape that he's just done, and he's done a time lapse of it. It is stunning. Um, uh, and there's a, few, there's a few other people in here that uh, uh, they've absolutely fantastic work. It's been a pleasure for me um, bantering away with you all uh, all, uh, all day, and uh, the next time it will be better. Um, and hopefully we don't have. Um, uh, uh, well, lads, I'm going to have a feckin' beer after that because uh, um, I nearly had a heart attack in the middle. Um, but uh, I want to see your scopes. I want to hear your comments. And uh, share and like it, and on the next one, let's try and get even more people. I am going to do. I am going to do more because, uh, my God, I don't know when are we. I, I like. I, it's, I don't want to be depressing about it, but uh, are we going to be extended and extended and extended for months? I don't know. Um, but um, uh, feck it. it uh, I'm just going to keep on doing this anyway. So if you want to join me, you are more than welcome. And um, I, uh, the, uh, has anybody anybody any questions before we leave? I know, yeah, that's the thing. It's this. I've been dealing with loads of students, and um, it's uh, like like everybody here are creative people. Everybody, uh, like anybody that's been doing this today, are um, creative people. And um, this weird thing that's going on at the minute, um, it's like sucking. It's uh, creative creativity out of people. And um, if we can just keep doing, you know, little things like this, and then um, I like fuck it, turn them into um, what do you call it, a pinhead. Turn him into a character. The mask. If he's looking like the mask, keep on trucking. Get some reference of um, uh, the mask and um, make him into the mask. Uh, like if it's going that way, sometimes sculpts uh, might not go the way you want to go. Um, so uh, uh, just uh, go the way it's going. And then you'll be able to, uh, in time with a little bit more skill, uh, be able to put reins on the sculpt and go where you want it to go. Um, but uh, I, I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, I, I've enjoyed today. I'm, I'm glad I got uh, that done. I'll, uh, that'll spur me on now to get the other side done. 
and uh, the next thing I will do it will be molding molding it and then casting it in clear uh, resin which that would be that would be fun so uh, if, you, if you have any comments lads give us a give us a comment I have two minutes before I have to get out of here I'm just gonna read some I'm gonna just read some of your comments here yeah, really creative slump lately, but uh, it's been a really nice way to get back into the uh, making stuff. That's from Sasha. Absolutely, Sasha. We need to do stuff. You just need to do it. Um, and, um, like, I know people have loads of things on, and I know that um, uh, people, uh, the mindset is not necessarily with it at the minute. Um, but uh, if at least what I can do, if I, well, that's what I wanted to do, is sort of give everybody a spur on to um, say feck it no we're going to do this and um, the world can keep on trucking outside the window uh, thank you so much uh, for your time and expertise Paul I got interrupted after lunch uh, but we'll catch up on the replay yeah I am absolutely I am absolutely going to do a replay because there are people I don't know if they came back or not after the interruption with YouTube but I will do it and um, uh, I might edit, edit it a bit so it's not me yapping on forever and uh, just uh, do the key moments um, you're welcome, Owen. Um, Gemma, you're absolutely welcome. Um, thank you, really uh, great for me to do and help me uh, towards my last few weeks of uh, university. Cool. Uh, yeah, well, I, 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 that's what I teach um, is an IADT, so I, I get it. Uh, thank you so much for doing this, Bill. I really appreciate the time and. Uh, really wonderful way you taught us and guiding us um, well I enjoyed it. it it was a lot of fun um, like it, it's it's a lovely thing for me to do so I, I can heal um, so lads I am going to sign off now I uh, don't know if you but I'm wrecked um, I'm going and after today and with that YouTube thing I am getting a beer I don't usually drink but I freaking drink it today um, so uh, it was a delight uh, uh, doing this uh, with you and for you and we'll do more again um, so stay tuned to that and I'm going to uh, sign out don't forget to share, don't forget to like and uh, leave a comment lads and if you wouldn't mind um, uh, now I know this didn't go out on the page uh, I, I'm not too sure what's going on there I have to, I have to figure a few things out but uh, if you wouldn't mind leaving a recommendation and stuff like that so it's my only way that I'm going to actually get to do more of this stuff in the future so Slow lads and uh, have a, a wonderful weekend and I will see you all uh, next Wednesday for Feck It With Beckett.